to get people in. Woohoo! <laughs> and uh, uh, all right, pancakes. That's good, Leaky. Leaky, <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. All right. Oh, good. We're having. <clears throat> They're clearly talking about pancakes and Braith Brain Rangers, and they're talking to each other. They don't care about <laughs> us. Hi, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> pancakes sound delicious. Are you talking about what you're all eating? They're like, oh, hey. Paloma's like, oh, hey, you guys are here. <laughs> hi, hi, Mistari. Hello, hello. We're going to give it a few minutes so people can, like, come in we're like you know we're going it's funny we're going up and then we're going down hello everyone's like oh no they're here i don't want to be part of that um there we go i uh thank you guys thank you thank you thank you for the for showing up today hey 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 by the way the um unfortunately the chat runs so fast in the back end um thank you for not forgetting us we appreciate that I mean, we got our panda who totally binged ED and posted live reactions chapter whilst we had popcorn. Your panda. I'm assuming that's not an animal. Yes. <clears throat> Edward is here, Eden. He's well, actually he stepped out for a moment, but he is here. Everybody is almost here. I think we're just missing Bruno. Yeah, okay, he so did tell me last night to say he was he was for sure coming. So I, I'm assuming he might be having trouble signing into the live stream. Um, I know Edward was having some big issues with it as well. Yeah. Edward is here, Jody. He's just stepped out. He's here, but everyone else is here too. Give some love, guys. You love them. Okay. Oh, well, CF, I'm glad you're a first time on a live. Yes, everyone loves Edward and he loves you all back. <laughs> Which I'm sure he'll say he's missing all the love here, Anna. He's missing it. <clears throat> so yes, we got to leisurely panda. There was like some fun fanfic we all read last time. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Mr. Oh, this is just like. So um, while we are waiting for everyone to get settled, I want to um, do some business and just some like stuff so you guys know how we're going to do it today. We pretty much got everyone here. We're just waiting for Edward to step back in, for Bruno to step in, but we have everyone and they're gonna introduce themselves, remind you who they are. Um, they all love us. Okay, wait, I think Bruno just got here. He did. Bruno is came Warren, guys. And I think that this has to be on, shown on the screen so all of you can see it. So that's for everyone. Um, are we doing more fanfic, Cadiz Fox? Not this time, but we will. We absolutely will. This one was a more of like a, let's do this thing and then it just sort of like we're gonna be here and considering i got the time wrong it was it was awesome so yes i'm so glad you all are here okay so back to what i was saying uh yes hello uh, bruno can you hear by the way i can't hear you bruno uh yeah i can yeah okay good your people are saying hello oh. to you in chat um I said anything. And anyway, you haven't even said anything. I know they, yes, the K Warren, yes. All right. <laughs> so, how we're going to do this is if you have a question, please put it all in caps. And then, if you have a question to a particular actor, please put their name or their character's name so that they know so that we can, I can easily direct them. Um, to to so we know that we've got you know basically that everybody well i can't speak today which is another big issue but just so i direct it towards them and yes i've got a diet coke rabbit radish and i need more clearly i need so much more bruno you can be heard yes you are you are heard i can um, oh great okay yes so I love how everyone's like being like professional and saying in the chat they can hear you and I'm just blare blathering about oh yes <laughs> oh yes um yeah just well, give look the game this. away yeah I know seriously there are technical difficulties that we normally have um I I love Paloma says all in caps every message is in all caps Wraith I know it's everyone is very excited um there's a lot of love here going on so also, um, yeah, so 
questions in question in cap so I could just grab it out of the chat. And you can ask pretty much anything. Obviously, we can always agree not to not to uh, uh, answer it. But if you want to ask about acting, the series, anything, really, um, all of it, uh, there will be Elgar art. And I have a really fun thing coming up, Miss Starry, which is going to be people are going to love this. So um, this will be very, very, very good. All right. So more business first than introductions so business did you know okay there's uh, there's already a question here uh oh and i don't think edward's here yet so that's that's <laughs> oh good lord all right they're really doing it all in caps okay that's something oh my god this is going to go this is going way too fast all right business first business first and then questions and then I will ask this question of Edward when he returns. I think other people can answer it too. Did you know Edward's that in the Edward's well, in the chat? So um, oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. All right. I'm so just we, listening. <laughs> all right, excellent. Because um, people are getting very excited to talk to all of you. Hi, everyone. Right. I'm excited to talk to you too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Yes. All right, so there's some questions here. Wait, first, business. I'm going to do this correctly, I swear to God. Volume 3 is available for purchase right now. The audiobook, the ebook, the hardback. You can, If you um, purchase the audiobook and the ebook, you get it obviously immediately. The hardback takes me some time. I have to I write a, a message. Some people have asked me to write messages from the characters in their books, which I love to do. And I also have a wonderful, beautiful insert of all the actors having signed it. So that also goes. So I'm going to give you the link and I'm going to try to pin that puppy. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to show it. So, um, so you can pick up your copy because I know people didn't really know that that was out. We were waiting for this um, live stream to sort of really, really talk about it. Okay. All right. And so that's really good. So make sure that you grab your copy while you can. We also have some fun merch there, water bottle, blanket, and journal. We're gonna be um, refreshing that and giving different characters coming up. So that might be your time to grab it. Um, we also are ending on February 1, our half off a year subscription to Wraith Rain. So normally a subscription to Wraith Rain is a hundred bucks. For a year now it's 50 you literally get i think 50 some uh episodes of everdark from now like fresh ones including the ones that are already on there for this so that's like a dollar an episode which it's more than worth that so if you think about it plus everything else i'll have cat put in the chat a little bit later the link to the membership and um, other things so that you can also check that out so I really appreciate you um, indulging me with the business side of things. So let's get going. Okay, Edward, they really took me at my word and did it all in caps. If you were a vampire, would you be called Edward or something else? Oh God, no, I think I'd be called something else. I think I would have many names. Many names. <laughs> Take that privilege. <laughs> I know that feeling. It's like, do you, I, I, it's sort of like, like the mirrors who just, you know, they don't even keep their own faces. We don't know what, yeah. who they're going to be. Yeah. And by the way, Charlie is phenomenal. Your version of Charlie. It's exactly Thank what you. I hoped it would be. Thank you for those, very much. Yes. For those of you who don't know, Charlie is a mirror that we meet in the latest chapter of Everdark that's posted on the live podcast. Um, he's got some secrets that we're going to find out in Everdark Academy coming up. So just keep that in mind. Okay, Bruno, can you tell people where you're from? <laughs> or you can lie. <laughs> We're not hearing anything. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I'm originally from England. Uh, uh, you, am I here? Yes, you are now. Can you hear? Am I back? Yes. Okay, yes, that's with the mute button. I shall not bother. <laughs> um, I am originally from England in the mids, um, but I currently live in Vancouver. 
is Vancouver sort of go. the heart, <laughs> like, exactly, the heartland of where a lot of TV shows are produced, right, um, for the American audience, I think. Am I crazy about that? Hannah, Jay, anyone? You are, yeah. can, you, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you're 100% right. It's, uh, it's a, a town filled with actors and directors and crew. Um, and I think everybody who lives and works here probably has something to do with that industry. All right. Yeah. I, cause yeah, I always think like it's sometimes called Hollywood North. Um, Hollywood North. A little pretentious, but there's a lot of uh, film and television produced in Vancouver for or by American money. So, yeah, we could find out what's shooting here right now. Ooh, mm. all right. Well, I'm always guaranteed, amazed how they uh, guaranteed some of your some of your favorite shows were shot here, guaranteed, like Supernatural, like all 100 yeah. million seasons of it was shot. <laughs> and X what about the Winchesters? Winchesters, the Winchesters, X Files, no. yeah. yeah, X Files, Arrow, um, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, Batwoman, basically most of that uh, that comic universe, whatever they call it, cinema, not cinematic, but the comic book TV version. Yeah, they yeah, were shot here. That's fantastic that they can make it. I mean, it's just, is Vancouver just, how shall I put it? Like, is the city just something that can be a stand-in for lots of other places or are there just lots of sound stages or something? A bit of both, actually. There's, there's a number of large studios there which are used in film and television production all the time. And within the region, there is a lot of different uh, landscapes. So the mountains, the ocean, there's even some desert uh, not far from the border. Nice. Uh, of the it's United also, States. There's the great... Is, there's a great ranch. Um, um, it's called Virtue Ranch, and it's up north here in BC. And they film all sorts of westerns there. And they have like a full-on western town, like old, ye old tiny western town built there specifically to film movies and TV shows. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so this I'm going to talk about Elgar art for a second. Um, Elgar has not yet made it into the public podcast or the behind the scenes, but he is a character that is coming up. I just want to say one word. Well, no, two words. No, three words. Four words. Skull and Rose's tattoo. And just keep that in mind, people. For those who know, I think maybe some of you will have an idea. Um, so, okay. I think this is fun to say I D this person also had D and D cause you know, we weren't all D and D players here. So at least most of us, is everyone on the chat a D and D player? Cause obviously I am, um, I have D and D later tonight, but I think I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to miss it, but I'm happy to be here, but I know Jay, you are, you are a dungeon master, aren't you Jay? And you're, I dabble, I dabble, you dabble. And Edward, yeah. obviously, you're both a player and a dungeon master, or just a I player? am. I am Excellent. both. Yeah, I've had many, many adventures with uh, role playing games over my life. My mother was a player of some of the original Dungeons and Dragons, so it's a <laughs> generational thing. Excellent. Um, and Hannah, you are as well. You play. No, I don't. No, I don't know don't, anything don't about. Know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. I'm Why terrible. Did I think you did. I have she, she secretly the, wants to. I have the shortest attention span. Like I cannot imagine playing a game that lasts longer than one hour. Like I just couldn't do it. I think my, oh, my mind would just blow I'm up. I'm with you. I'm a huge board <laughs> you, game fan, but I've played yes. D once and I just don't have the creativity for it. I need parameters. I need rules. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I think I, I think Adam and I are the type who like puzzle games and the yeah. games and board games, but one hour. One I like an play. escape room. <laughs> yes. One hour. You can't even get the description done in one exactly. hour. Exactly. I mean, good Lord. It's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm playing in a Curse of Strahd game, which is a lot of fun. I'm a, I'm a rogue there. So, um, okay. What episode is coming out next? I've not been able to start the book yet. Um, Aspen, do you mean on the public podcast or do you mean... On the private, uh, the Wraith Rain podcast. Because the public one, I think, where the heck are we on the public one right now? I can look. But I, it's so funny because I'm trying to listen to the public one so that I sort of understand where people are so I don't get too far ahead. But I think we're at um, 31. So 32 is next. Um, by the way, uh, we sort of warned everybody, those of you who are listening to the public podcast, we had to cut 
so much that I had to do a summary, unfortunately. Uh, it's not just the sexy stuff, although there's that too, but there's a really huge backstory that Christian has that explains a lot of what's going on with him that unfortunately we just know that YouTube and all these other companies would not allow us to put out there. So I put it in very disney terms, but um, now again would be the good best time to sign up or at Wraith Rain or to uh, purchase the audiobook if you want to know what's going on there. So that is just otherwise, I think people are, it, it's really disappointing that you don't get to hear the actors really do this because they're, it's just so beautifully done, especially about some things that are, how shall I say, very difficult. Um, it's, it's the scene guys in Dobe in the, um, basically when they, when they get the three guys in the alleyway and the scene between Christian and Balthazar about David, um, that's all coming up. So that's that's gonna be that's gonna be gone. Um, so just more Eden is like Edward is here. Yes. All right. I uh, am indeed. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here quietly and listen to all these beautiful people and their lovely voices. Do you know what I forgot to have us do? What? What did you forget us? The introduction. Introductions. The introductions. Oh. <laughs> Because not everybody knows who everybody is, and I really this is embarrassing. Okay, Hannah, you start. Well, tell um, us about you. yeah. Tell us about me. Tell us about <laughs> you. I, this is really embarrassing. I'm I'm like my brain is not working. Tell us about you and sure, that's kind of good stuff. Um, I'm Hannah Hart, and I voice Fiona Darksilver and Sophia Strange and a few other characters along the way. Um. And uh, what else can I tell you about myself? I, I do some production management on this as well. So that's my job. And what characters do you play in Everdark? Fiona Darksilver. Oh, uh, Sophia... And Sophia Strange. Yeah. Um, plus, a whole bunch of, plus a whole bunch of smaller characters that, uh, that come up that I love. Uh, some of them yes. were bigger. Aw. Like, like Darcy. I really wish Darcy I was know. a much larger role. <laughs> Darcy is great. I seriously, now that I, I, I'm like hearing like Edward's version of Charlie, I'm so glad that he comes up again. Darcy does too, but Ed, but yes. definitely Charlie comes up in um, Everdark Academy. He has a role. Okay, Edward, introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are. Hi, everyone. I'm Edward Fox. I have the privilege of playing the narrator character in Everdark, along with Damon, Lord Balthazar Ravenscroft, Charlie, uh, a host of other random interlopers into the story. Excellent. Okay, Adam. Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Riley, uh, and I voice Julian Harrow and Christian Thorne. And if you listen very closely, I do play a couple other small characters that pop up from time to time. Excellent. Jay. Hey there, I'm Jay Thalus. I play uh, Arceus Kane. I play little old William and uh, Henry Thorne as well. Excellent. And Bruno? Yeah, hey everybody, uh, I'm Bruno. I play Kay Morn and a few, a few incidentals, mostly crowd voices, but yeah. And Rebecca? Hello, Vanessa, Vanessa Porter, and I am I am playing Confessor Rajani, and uh, who has not appeared uh, yet, but has been recorded and will be appearing soon, and a number of other uh, sundry characters. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yes, prof yes, Rajani has a big role coming up, as we will find out. Rebecca, Rebecca has a real sexy voice. Yes, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Um, well, vampire spies are where it's at. Um, just right? so you know what, yeah, there, yes, yes. So Eleanor, um, oh gosh. Um, so Eleanor is, um, she's looking forward to her message from Kay Warren. So despite Bruno being here, she actually means for me, I'm gonna write in her book. 
Um, so oh, I thought we were going to have requests from the audience for us to voice characters saying things. I thought you oh, were actually going to good. ask came on to maybe read a little bit of poetry or something. Oh, that would be very good. I could see him reading poetry. Oh, secretly. you paid enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Hold on one second here. Let me just go down. Oh, the chat. I know someone's like, I mean, I can not. say I mean, hello. I can say hello. I yes. can say hello to Eleanor Willow, if that's what she means. Hello, Eleanor. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you know, that's going to be clipped now and uh, added into a phone voicemail. message. Somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So um, if your subscription ends mid-February, can you still try to get the half off? Yes. You have to reach out to Jer Jeremy. So go to our tech support or our contact email. The contact us. Uh, so you can do that. Um, sorry. Just doing some fun thing. I'm so behind in the chat right now. So as we do. Okay, here we go. I like to take all my money. That's fun. All right. So this is for anyone who wants to answer and a couple people. Um, what is your favorite part of the story so far? <laughs> well, for me, it's where Confessor Rajani appears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the whole story just oh man it just blows up it's amazing ah i know but you know virjani just takes the cake though she does she has um and then Although what she... does she do with it oh god dad jokes uh... it's too early for that it's very too early for that um okay jay what's your favorite part i really enjoy when um when christian's parents finally get <laughs> thrown into the fray and give their opinions and thoughts and their love and uh yeah i i found that very very both funny and uh kind of heartwarming and yeah there was there was a lot of stuff in in those kind of chunks there where uh where the parents got got thrust into the world and uh and yeah damon had to well they requested that didn't request but they damon kind of proved to them that vampires are real yeah um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does that first line. You all tease Vampires me. are real. You go, there we go. There we Ooh, go. Oh, that was good. That was good. Now I know why you got the role. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, I thought that I was trying to, when I did this part, I was like, well, we have some, I normally kill parents in my stories, which is, I'm like Disney that way. Thank you for that clarity there, right? <laughs> Just in the stories, everyone, the other rumors are not true. There have been no charges pressed. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Well, I find it that oftentimes if there are parents involved, depending on what kind of parents they are, they would have some role in their children's lives. So they wouldn't be like sort of out on their own fully. And so when I thought to myself, okay, what are Christian's parents going to do and how are they going to react to this fact that not only is their son a vampire, I mean, you know, vampires exist, but their son is a vampire and he's like now like with this very um, intriguing yet yet different sort of guy named Balthazar. And then, you know, Julian is with this very alien man who they know is a predator. How are they going to react to this? And I wanted it to be like real, as realistic as I could make it. So I really think that Liz's reaction, that that's the mom, I hope comes across as like legit, you know? Um, but I was surprised, I think, when I wrote it, because one of the things when I do is when I'm writing this, I'm sort of like method acting. So it's, I call it method writing where I'm in that character's perspective. I was surprised at how mad Damon got at her, but he did. He was very protective. He was very, and she is too. They're like playing the same role. She's so, a forceful woman. You, you, you wrote yeah. her as a really forceful woman. <laughs> She's in charge, man. Yeah. She is in charge. Yeah. Um, Adam, what's your favorite part of the story so far? There's been a few instances of it, but I, I, I like any time Damon shows his powers to somebody new <laughs> who doesn't believe him in these extraordinary ways. Uh, just seeing the reactions to him doing various things, but, you know, turning into a bunch of wolves is pretty exciting. 
I think that is probably his best trick it's because amazing. you just can't deny it when there's like a hundred wolves around you suddenly. It's like, good Lord. No. I and mean, it's just that like fulfilling a character who doesn't believe him and who tends to be kind of haughty or, you know, yes. on their high horse getting taken down. And it's, I think it's happened maybe three or four times and every time yes. it's just as satisfying because <laughs> then you start to anticipate it. <laughs> right. Uh, and yeah, the be reward wolves? is always there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's like, and right, you're going to have to, you're going to have to keep coming up with more and more impressive of feats right because right. Some of the later the wolves turn into oh yeah right yeah. <laughs> well we all know that damon's special power is called armageddon the actors know and and the members know but i'm not going to tell you but we do get to see him perform armageddon and do you guys think that that's worthy of its name based on what it does to uh to people absolutely yeah yeah so that's yeah so we're gonna find that out oh okay. no spoilers today then huh? Okay. no spoilers mm. i have so many things i do want to tell them and i'm like nope can't tell them that no can't tell them no. that it's nice to have a little tease all right so another uh, yes another love for charlie's voice well he's such a character right he's like he's so there and yet of course who he presents himself as is Edward. not who he is at all Edward all voices him like every sort of like 70 plus actor in the theater yes. that I've ever worked with. They all sound exactly like Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I could, yes, he was sort of like, he was definitely a broad, broad character. And there's a reason for that. Um, okay, so Edward. Oh, I, right. I absolutely think so. I think someone with those powers might be hiding quite a lot. Yes. And so the choices were also made about, it's not just his face that he hides behind that mask, but also his no. voice, how yes. he moves, how he presents himself, which I think is really interesting when you dig into characters, not just what they have or present to the world, but also what they're hiding. I think one of the things about Charlie that I was surprised came across, but is there, is people are like, I'm a little bit scared of him. Like, he seems like maybe he could be a villain. And I was like, hmm, that's an interesting idea. But I think he's he's definitely, despite him coming across as, how shall I say, very like laconic and just like almost like he's drunk. He's not. And he's totally not. He's pretending. And so you don't really know what he's thinking. And you so. may underestimate him because he appears to be a fool. Yes, he does. And he is not at all. Um, yeah. So I can't wait for some things coming up in Everdog Academy that are going to answer some questions about him or them or her. We don't even know. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So it's a follow up, Edward. What would your vampire name be if you know what you would take? What one oh, of the names God. you would take? Well, look, I, this is an important discussion. Uh, it would depend very much on, on the world of vampires, when I am, where I am. Uh, am I an angsty teenage 90s vampire from the Buffy series and want to call myself something like Corvus Nightbane, Dark oh, Shade, God. you know, or awesome. I, I don't know. I think I just Slater. broke Hannah there. <laughs> what was your suggestion? Slater. It just Slater. sounds like Slater. a Slater. Slater. Oh, oh my God. God. Slater. Oh, God. I'm, a, I'm a vampire. God damn it. Respect me, Dad. <laughs> don't come in my room. I'm doing vampire stuff. <laughs> My yeah, God, no. Oh my God! Oh my God! No. Oh. I, know. Know. I, I, uh, I think the naming of characters is really important, Jody, uh, because they are vessels for story. So again, if you do have a vampire called Slater, or you know Dirk, or Ridge, or Storm, you know it, it creates Ridge. an expectation. Yeah, it's Ridge. Not the name. Ridge. <laughs> the oh, Scott. This is... All right, so the stream suddenly just like degenerated. Okay, it's well, generated. It did. No, it jumped. So now I can't go up to see all the um, um, questions we've missed. So, oh, crap. Oh, wow. Zero Raven Moonfire. Do you know oh, how hard it yeah. was to find Damon's name? It was the hardest one to do. It was totally the hardest one to do to find Damon's name because he had to, he had to be cool. It had to mean something. And yet it... Yeah, this okay. This totally blows. I can't see the rest of the chat, and it was it was I'm, just I'm loving it. yeah. The, ca the chaos. The chaos. It's going so fast now. I'm. What was some of the, the frostiness? 
Yeah, give us some runners up, right? Give us some names that didn't make the final cut. And we'll audition um, them. We'll see what happens. We'll have uh, Christian <laughs> respond to his is, names. And uh, This is this was what was very, very sad is right, that I honestly didn't have one for him. I could not figure it out. And I picked Damon because of his alternative meaning because mm. it was just like, dude, like Vampire King. Yeah, dude the dark is not a guy. good choice. Right? The, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I might have had like a, another, wait, wait. Um, it was Slater. We've just bullied It was him. Slater. We've, we've, we've called it. <laughs> Clay's, it, was... it Slater is just perfect. <laughs> I love it. Actually, I wait, feel like, I feel like Ridge, Ridge could bring that up for Julian. Yes. I think, like, what about, Julian what about like Ridge. Mike Hawk? Yeah, he oh, just stands on excellent. the cliff all day. Of cliffs, yeah, backlit by something with flowing backlit. hair and stuff. Hawk would work. Mike Hawk. Oh gosh, he's don't just, say it yeah. in an American accent. No, it sounds like a police officer name. I mean, it's just always like that's what that Mike Hawk sounds like to me. Oh, I can't even find. <laughs> no, it. see, you nearly went there. <laughs> I don't nearly say it three went times quickly. there. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I'm trying to I, see if I can. I think he's a stunt performer in adult erotica, but you know that's a whole different genre. Yeah. And everyone went quiet and the chat went dead. Nice, nice. I think everyone was trying to figure out what stunts you'd be doing in erotica. You have to. It's just, you know. I cannot. You that know. Effect. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kat, are you able to cut and paste some of the um, chat for me? I'm going to try to go back. I did, Lucas. I did go there. Uh... I did. It was me. What about, what about something like Hammer? No, that's terrible. No, Mike Hammer, oh, that was. Mike McClum. Yes. What? Yes. McGlump. Aloysius McGlumfer. Aloysius McGlumfer. I am Aloysius McGlumfer. <laughs> oh my god. I, I got what I wanted McGlumfer. out of this. You uh, should have you, you should have a lady it. a lady vampire named Octavia. I've always wanted to play an Octavia. Octavia is oh, perfect. Yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> always you could just get one that's Octavia. just straight up called Dave. Just Dave. 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 Uh, <laughs> it's like Kevin. Not, not Kevin, yeah. <laughs> Kevin is Hello. very, oh, very good. Kev. Dad, I'm a vamp. What, Dave? Dave the vampire. Dave the vampire. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, Kevin. Kevin or Steve. You know, Steve. Just Steve. <laughs> Steve. Steve. No, that's oh, just. And he's, and he's still. What about vampires? Vampire are real. In his spot, spare time. <laughs> yes, a plumber. That way he's got a good, good trade. What about if you renamed came on something like you know, Confessor Vast Deference? No. Oh, no, that's well, that's terrible. I'll stop now. I'm just going to mute myself. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm going to the corner for five minutes to calm down. <laughs> I'm going to grip on myself Kev, and have a long, hard think about Edward, what Edward, put away your anatomy book. We don't need that here. I love, I love the name Kevin. You just it was Googled my dad's, it. It was my, my dad's name, and I have a cousin named Kevin. Kev is a great name for any character. Any character you <laughs> Kev. God, we're going to put the uh, shelve the Kevins and Stevens and Daves in this. Okay, so... Um, Here's Bruce. the deal. The 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 Bruce. Bruce. No. Do you know how hard Grace it is to and get Sheena. some? I I did. Grayson was like Grayson Duke was the next one. It was pretty sad. It was it was a very like cowboy name, even though he's not at all. So here's the deal, guys. The chat is gone so fast that it's now hiding the older message. So Cat is trying to get me earlier questions. Literally, I can't even follow the chat. So that's really awesome but that Did means that i missed just... so so i'm going to do the next question from basically the from the private chat that she's going to copy paste copy. so she, yeah <laughs> so i'm so sorry you guys who are like trying to basically like you know see your questions up on the screen i wish i could do it but yeah everything i don't know if we just have too many people or what the deal is so here's could we, the question could we tag if we were to tag cat uh, in the chat with, is it at cat? Uh, would that pop up for cat? It might. It might. Chat so if you see any. Works. Yeah. Because I, I can't even, I'm like, good everyone Lord. Posting their, everyone posting their name suggestions. I think Paloma just said something about if there was a vampire named Pepe. Oh, God, Pepe. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> It's a treasure oh. trove of character names here, right? There we go. This I'll have to write these down for next time. I think last I played a vampire in a role playing game, and I think I called it Richter because I Richter. thought that was a oh, fun name well. to run around and be a bit evil. It was fun. It sounds like a James Bond villain. Oh, Richter. definitely. That's kind of what I was going for. Very, well, it yeah, is a very excellent. Teutonic kind of name. Very Teutonic, Sweet. yes. Sweet. Okay, well, uh, here I think is. It's Dick, isn't it, Richard? 
Yeah, but that yeah. just sort of like but with the a blood is gone flavor. with that. Yeah, the love yeah. is gone. Love gone. All gone. Um, okay, no, we have we have a question. We have a bunch of questions here, so we've got to get on those. Okay, so um, as voice actors, is it overwhelming to see a project that has 147 chapters? Do you read all 147 chapters beforehand, or do you take it in sections? So. <laughs> Hannah, I came to you first with this and said, so do you think that you and Edward would be willing to just do this, the two of you? Yeah. Do you remember that? That was insane. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, I, that being said, it is very overwhelming, I think, to be like, you're like, it, I mean, it's a huge project. We're talking like George R. R. Martin length yeah. audio. Um, and... <laughs> I, I was definitely a little intimidated, but then I thought, you know what? I've spent most of my career doing Shakespeare. I've read every single play multiple times. I know some of it hard. I'm like, why can't we do this? We should be able to do this. This is what we've been training for our whole lives. What a, what a challenge. Yeah. I mean, it was, well, it was funny because when you guys were doing Sinners and Ashes and everyone was like, oh, God, can't you get them to do one of the serials? And I'm like, I told people, I said, the cost would just be, you know, <laughs> beyond us. <laughs> and the, I said, let's, I said, that's even pretending that they would agree to spend the time. And then the project grew. And now we have all of these guys, plus a few more that aren't even here. Um, and it's just been um, such a fun time on our end. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I, we could not have done it without you. I, we could not, I mean, other than just your voice actor, but honestly, the, um, the, the technical know-how and honestly just keeping things straight because it just wouldn't have worked. It just wouldn't have worked. Um, cause I used to have to chase down voice actors to actually edit their work. That was insane. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. So I've literally like, um, the vampire club was the series before Sinners and Ashes. And I have been, not that Edward has the time or anyone here has the time, but I'm like, I wanted to redo them because of my, my anger <laughs> with the particular voice actor who <laughs> just decided to not do it after volume six, even though there's one more volume. I, 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 have, mm. I have words for this gentleman, but I will not say them out loud. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just put it that way. It just makes me want everyone to have this kind of professional thing. And I had to actually put in my... When you first did Cinders and Ashes, I said, you have to be able to edit your own, you know, it has to be edited. And you were like, why would you what? even assume <laughs> yes, it? Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, what? Isn't that what I'm you're like, hiring you, us to do? <laughs> you, you don't understand. You don't understand. I was just uh, going gonna to say my favorite part of doing a project of this scope uh, is its length. Because like getting to play characters that evolve and grow and change kind of necessitates having that many chapters and having kind of mm. that much narrative to go through. So to answer the question of, do we read it all before? I don't, I like to read it in batches because it's interesting to kind of, and by nature of how we record, right? We, we record the episodes in batches. I get to see what happens to a character for 20 chapters and then approach the next 20 and the next 20. And what I'm finding the most exciting is kind of going along that ride and seeing how, for me, how Christian and Julian are, how much they change over 147 chapters, which is pretty, uh, pretty incredible and much different than were this to be a shorter story. It's really true, especially with two main couples, because mm -hmm. in my mind, it's like, you know, you are having two books worth there just from the get go to have two main couples. Um, and one of the joys of serial writing is that we don't have to do it where it's a straight shot from, you know, you can like just go off and like if somebody says, well, I'd love to see them go to on a date to an ice cream shop. We can like I can just write that. I mean, it doesn't matter. They all nobody has any expectation that this thing has to, you know, just it, it goes wandering all over the place. So especially like and when we get to, you know, Everdark Academy, we actually I just start going from multiple different points of view all over. Um, we have huge sections from Balthazar's point of view, from Kmorn's, from you know, just like it's, you know, Fiona's and not only the main couple. So that's going to come out more. And I actually have more stories of Julian and Damon and Christian and Balthazar that's going to come. So because that's the joy of this type of thing. OK, so uh, Jay, who do you relate to most 
in the story. This is a question by um, Z Gutierrez. I um, there'll be a Q and A eventually that I think I answer this question. Yes. Um, and I'm going to stick with my answer. Uh, William, because I'm a little brat if I don't get what I want. Uh, <laughs> but deep down, I want just want people to like me. And I'm, I'm, I adore the people around me, even though I won't show Sweet. it. Sweet. Sweet. No. I love it. <laughs> uh, All right. Um, Bruno, who do you most relate to out of the story, do you think? Muted. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm here. I was just taking time to to think, to contemplate think. this. Uh, you think to ponder, to wonder. <laughs> Caught you off guard. To, uh, oh yes. Play the thinking music. Yes. Give him time. Give him time. Damn it. Oh my god. My do, wife walked do, in needing your slippers. Very distant. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, uh, hey, hey, that's important. Don't judge. Come on, come on. I think people would just love it if you said K-Morn because it's cold. they just... It's cold today. It's minus. It's chilly. Very chilly. It's chilly. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, 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 I'm just going to I don't know, know if that's... I don't know if that's... There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I thought that was going to be textbook avoiding the question, but... Yes, yes, he did try. He said a lot of words. We'll go on. Okay, uh, Vanessa. Is voice acting difficult when you need to speak with a different accent than what you're used to? Um, yes, but it also... Uh, it's nice in terms of giving you options for characters. I mean... It's a little bit of a cheat, and I'm lucky in that I, I'm reasonably good with accents. But I was just uh, going to say, nice you asked another, the right person. Another tool. Excellent. It's like, I <laughs> know it. Another tool in the box to make it a different She's person. really good. She's really good with accents. Well, I will never forget when Edward said, you know, a tour of Europe, because I, when I was trying to do Dragon's Reign and a Russian accent, it was never Russian. I don't know what the hell it was. It was never anything. So I always keep that in mind. Um, well, then you can just say, like, it's a really old dialect of Russian mm, that not right. a lot of people speak anymore. That's and... right. You've done your research, and they're just ignorant. Exactly. It's super specific, you guys. You Very wouldn't specific. know it. Yeah. You wouldn't. It's a small village on the shores of the Black Sea. <laughs> yes, uh, Herring yes. village. Uh... This is the legit accent. Yeah. No, no, no. There have been times, there have been times when, we were, when we've been doing stuff like this. Not with you, Wraith, but... A lot of times, you know, we'll be working with um, um, a, an American author who wants British, like for us to do British accents, but then wants us to pronounce certain, like certain words with an American, really, like, the way an American would or vice versa. So we'll be working with like a, a British author and all their characters are American, but they don't know a lot of like a lot of like, you know, they'll use words like tarmac instead of pavement. <laughs> Weird. Um, and Orbition. yeah, and so we, we we do sit down. What are you on about? Like they really are not long... the same things anywhere. I agree. <laughs> At all. That's ridiculous. Fair enough. Oh. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> we have dealt with that. Schedule. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I... don't ask us about the word the word valet or valet. Oh my god. Val um... Oh Jesus. Mm. Well, depends <laughs> when. Foyer, foyer. Foyer, foyer, yes, those, those are ones. Well, I will never forget one of the first voice actors I worked for back in 2011, work with, and I did not know how to pronounce the word lithe. I thought it was lith. I don't know why I thought it was lith. That's my vampire name, Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, it's pronounced lith. It Thank is you. performed lift. Yes, and I have and a little I bit of a lift. Yes, that. I'm lift. And he he <laughs> schooled me and said I was wrong, so it is lift. I was right. Screw him. <laughs> no, no, it's live. No, no it's live. It's live. It is live. It is live. It is live. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I, I said I didn't know how to pronounce it. I said, I don't think that sounds right. And he's like, he sent me a um 
like the dictionary and I, it was like embarrassing. I was like, I'm sorry, I'll just go crawl in a corner now. Well, so, okay. But Rafe, you also have to understand that your job is to write words. I mean, if somebody asked me to spell a word that I had never said or seen before, um, I w probably wouldn't be able to do it. I'm not particularly strong in that in that capacity, but our job is to actually know how to pronounce words. So, you know, you sit there and you write words. You're not necessarily saying them out loud. You might no, the brain who uses does the word trick, life. <laughs> who uses the word right. life anymore? Frequently, what like, are you talking about? <laughs> Evidently, I do. He <laughs> was somewhat her suit and life. <laughs> <laughs> Slipping sensuously through it. What? The words that, that I think narrators have to learn to pronounce, especially when you have an author who's been gifted a thesaurus uh, <laughs> and, and actually hasn't thought, what am I trying to say here and choosing the language, but have just Googled other words for hot or right. boobies. <laughs> right, and hot. it just oh, deteriorates, God. you know? Well, it, you know, when I have to write sex scenes, I'm like, am I? Because I've written like hundreds of them now, thousands. And mm -hmm. I'm sitting, I'm like, what's a good word for? And I won't even go there because YouTube will like hurt me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Like shaft has a lot of meanings that can just, we'll just put that out there. But shaft yes. is normal, right? Shaft a wonderful is... detective from the 70s. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. That's what I, I always do. like. <laughs> is there a more uh, like, you know, a better word to use that will just be like, you know, just more evocative. But Kat says my problem is that I talk like a lawyer too much from my past, <laughs> my past life. Um, and I'm, and she's like, yeah, you like you you run on sentences with all these like predicates. I have to chop them up. I'm like, oh, fine. Luckily, that doesn't come into the sex scenes, but you know, it happens. Okay. That's, from that is a hard one, though. I, I challenge anyone to write a, a few sequences, whether it's a fight scene or a love scene or a car chase and be incredibly creative and unique every time. It gets very, very difficult. And once you've read enough of these books, you do realize there are certain concepts in the English language that are yes. somewhat limited. The uh, Germans have so, so much better words for things that just like, you know, ex express like a rainy afternoon where you lay in bed and it's like one word, it may be like 15 syllables long, but seriously, it's like one word. And it's like, oh, that's just so nice. <laughs> English does not have that. It does not have that. English is three languages wearing a trench coat. It's, it, keeps, <laughs> it keeps acquiring rules from everybody else, and it doesn't have its own consistent rules. It is a very, very oh. silly language. It's, it's, it really, truly is. I feel like a Monty Python reference coming up. Um, okay, so Kayla asks, this is sort of like, this is, I shouldn't even ask this question because we're not ready to talk about this yet. But are you all wanting to come back to voice the characters for Everdark Academy? I'll just I'll just leave that out there, lay that. What a there. great question! What a great it's a question! Great question, great isn't question. it? It's an excellent, <laughs> excellent question. We'll just that's all we're going to say about it. That's just all we're going to say. It's a really good question. Um, let's see here. <laughs> so uh, Shana's calamity, which is an excellent name, says thank you all. I love all the characters in Everdark. Thanks to Wraith writing and the actors bringing them to life. So just a comment that they said, which was so nice. Um, okay, Edward, what modern thing do you think Damon would love the most? Oh, it's definitely not pleather. No, um, no. That's a, that's a really interesting question because I've always had a suspicion that Damon may be far more aware of things than we are and maybe that our modern world is somewhat quaint to him. Yes. Just putting that out there, everybody. But what would Damon like most? Oh, look, I know. Indoor plumbing. Yes, we know he loves that. He loves putting things in the toilet. Not well, that. I was actually bathroom. thinking about showers, actually. Oh, yeah. Giant showers with multiple shower heads from different angles and a shower where you can fit, you know, half a varsity basketball team into for no apparent reason. But Absolutely. Definitely indoor plumbing. Oh, and heated car seats. Heated car seats, except that he can't get into cars because remember he's they're too much like coffins for him right now. He uh, thinks of them. He's like, ah. Well, then heated I mean, toilet seats. Heated toilet seats will work, yes. definitely, definitely. And actually, we know that Balthazar what about loves tushy? technology. Tushy, tushy. yes, very yes. good call. And a dental hygiene, I think. Yes, and dental I, hygiene. I, I just want to say personally, I can't imagine kissing someone with a mouthful of rotten teeth. 
Can you imagine sucking the blood of somebody who hasn't bathed in a long, long time? No, I don't don't want to. I don't want to. I would be like, here, let me just clean off a spot. Oh, God. (laughs) God, no. Would you carry those little wet wipes in your bag? And maybe those old KFC moist towelettes. There's a there's a difficult word as well in uh, romance fiction for everybody. Moist. Towelettes. Moist. No, not oh, towelettes. Yeah. Moist. <laughs> but yes, oh, I think I towelettes. Think... I love it. <laughs> that could so be your sexy. vampire name. <laughs> towelette. Oh, Octavia Towelette. <laughs> yes, Octavia Towelette. <laughs> Middle name Moist. Yeah. <laughs> Or that's her nickname, so it's just in quotation marks. <laughs> oh, God. It's a reputation. No, it's a reputation. No, 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 no. No, oh, Lord. All right. Um, uh, Adam, which characters do you sympathize with most? Oh, boy. Um, there's a lot of very sympathetic characters. Balthazar is the first one that comes to mind. Maybe Camorn. I... I think personally, I connect pretty deeply with Christian. So I find his plight to be quite easy to sympathize with. Not that I've experienced anything quite similar to what Christian has experienced, but uh, I sympathize with kind of his approach to to the world, his, um, uh, I guess, cautious, his very cautious approach to the world and to love and relationships. He's kind of the character I feel like I, that resonates the most with me and perhaps I understand the most deeply. Cool. All right. Jay, what do you think? Who do you sympathize with the most, do you think, in the story? And I know it's going to be William. I'm only joking. It could be William. I know that you love William. Sorry, it's my turn to have a mute button problem. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, I, I, like, I, I sympathize a lot with with the Thorn parents uh, when all that happens. Uh, but honestly, honestly, I think Balthazar is possibly someone who I who I really. Um, sympathize or empathize with the mo- just just some of the stuff he goes through and some of the ways he reacts and the way he grows as well i remember um reading him early on and then playing with him as arceus later on and just seeing how how powerful he is but also how much he needs everyone else yeah. is really kind of um kind of sweet all right so just so you all know mew Pink Nose of Doom is getting up because she wants to put her butt in my face. That's happening now. All right, stop that. All right. Jody asks, and anyone can... Uh, yes, Mew Mew, I love you too. Everyone loves you. Yes. You want to be on... Yes. Oh, God, I can't see the screen now. That's really... Oh, your butt. Excellent. All right. When reading the steamy scenes, do any of the voice actors blush when acting it out as their characters? I personally have a hard time even listening to my sex scenes, although you guys make it sound really good. I, I just, it's very hard. I'm like, ah, oh, we'll just assume that's fine. Um, so anyone I have can to say, sometimes this. we have, sometimes we have conversations about how, how that might work <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Yeah, a um, little bit. It, it, yeah, it does happen, and they're. Did anyone see Meffy? Oh, there yeah, you but are. You're right. There yeah, you are. Are. Out of that nice lady's face. <laughs> Meffy. Oh, thank you, Balthazar. Call her. Call him back. Mew, mew. Cut it out. Sorry. Yes, good kitty. Good kitty. Yes. 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 I know she's taken over the entire stream. Right. This no. is this is her audition for the role of Mephi. Uh, again, not too many spoilers there. Just putting it out there. Yes. Oh, I'm Brilliant. just going to say Love that uh, Hecuba would also like an audition for the role of Mephi. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So Most definitely. we'll have some competition, I think, between all of our cats. <laughs> I, I know they'll, they'll all be like, oh, no, it's my turn. It's my turn. Oh my god, that cat did it like that? That's bullshit. <laughs> so much better. Look, to, to bring the stream back on track for a moment, uh, I do blush reading um, erotic scenes or romance scenes, whatever you want to call them, but maybe not for all the right reasons. Sometimes it's because they're so appallingly written that I am embarrassed. <laughs> 
four. Yeah. To be honest, I do I do blush and giggle quite often. Um, it's release tension. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. They're fun scenes. Why not? They are. I mean, yeah. it's, we don't. Well, have, I mean, I think if you take them. We record them face to face on the same mic, and that like we're yes. kind of making it more awkward for ourselves that way. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, that's my process, Adam. No, I, uh, I, no. I'm glad you respect. Oh oh I have a few ideas God. about uh, the next session. Mm. Excellent. How do you how do you feel about jean shorts? <laughs> uh, maybe for Christian, think, not for Julian. I think if you I think if you start taking those kinds of scenes overly seriously i think risk really um making them boring i think you do have to have a bit of a sense of humor when you're looking at yes. those scenes to make them more realistic well, let's face it being naked in front of people is kind of giggly sometimes a little bit you have to have a good time i think yeah i'm never gonna have this experience again and i don't know if you guys probably haven't but i had to live read a sex scene that was before i realized that youtube was like Ban hammer noun and i was thinking to myself even though there was just you know a few hundred people on and i'm reading this scene and i'm like yeah they're listening to me read a sex scene it was the most bizarre thing like how i do my how i did my voice nothing like good like you guys did but it was like well no you have to make it like legit you can't just read it straight like and then he put his shaft <laughs> I mean, you have to like into her moist toilette <laughs> goodness <No? laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I mean, let's face it. In this case, it's his moist towelette, but. Yes. 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 His Thank moist you. Don't, don't gender my towelette, please. I think that's actually the next <laughs> Philip Pullman novel. His oh, moist towelette. His moist towelette. I love it. Yes. <laughs> his dark oh, materials. His moist towelette. Oh, dear. Oh, God, right. guys. I am Deep crying with laughter. <laughs> Are we just adding moist towelettes to like like do Android's dream of moist towelettes? Things yes. like that. We're just adding this to the, we as many books as we can. Million dollar merch idea: um, vampire themed moist towelettes for wiping off your your dinner. There we go. <laughs> By the way, members, moist towelette is going to make it into one of the chapters, and you'll oh, all please, know why. Please. <laughs> I think that would be a brilliant drag name for me. Oh yeah. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> what were we talking about? Something deep and meaningful. I'm completely not know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Blushing. And now oh. we're trying to make the entire Blushing. chat feel that Look, way. Look, I, I think actually I really enjoy blushing when reading well-written sex scenes, well-written uh, scenes of erotica. I want to enjoy them too. That's the point of why they were written to be enjoyed. And I think some writers understand that and they know how to do it really well. There's a little bit of humor. There's some empathy. There's some connection. It's not just moist towelettes uh, and, and shafts. Um, yeah. And I think it's honestly, it is a pleasure to do because I'm, I'm, some of us here have had to do live enacted sex scenes on camera. Oh, wow. Which I have to say is, I think, something that nobody, not even the crew, enjoys. You know, when you, when you have to slip out of your robe and, oh, okay, can so we do that awkward. again? But can you enjoy it less or more? <laughs> or could you just move that to here with this? You it should is... tell them what your, what your costume no. is. No, no, no. Oh, a, mod <laughs> no. a modesty pouch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. God. oh, yeah. There's nothing modest about it. No. You've gotten the note no. to enjoy it less. <laughs> yes. I want to see that too. <laughs> Yes. Enjoy um, it less. Boy, oh boy. We were, we were doing this. It was actually, it was actually the first, the first day for me on the project, and oh, uh, no. I met met my co-star, and so it was literally a handshake and a, okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh good um, god! Oh good and god! And standing there, there in some... your modesty pouches. Uh, yes, yes, and they just wanted to look at it. It was like that's fine, go ahead. And then there were giggles, giggles, giggles. Um, but the, the issue was the director came over and said, look, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that thing. I mean, I mean, it was, it was good. I mean, it was fine. No, it was great. Uh, he was going bright red. And then awesome. the comment was, look, we may be selling this to a more family orientated oh network. My God. So we'd like to do a take where you just enjoy it less. <laughs> just put on a fucking <laughs> pouch. Like, uh, sorry, what? Well, yeah. So when you, when you, uh, <clears throat> finish if you could 
just I'm like, what you want me to give him a handshake and a, a thumbs up or something? What are we, what are we doing here? It, it was really wow. Oh my God. One of those a high five. Things. I found a uh, high five always works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> an, an awkward pat on the back. Yes, yes, and 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 remember, good no job. eye contact. Good job. Yes, good job. Yeah. A little sticker, maybe. Oh, it's yeah. work. Yeah. oh my God. And just 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 mutter, just mutter. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. And then yeah. uh, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so again, the, these reading audiobooks in this way, yeah, I get the giggles sometimes. I lose focus sometimes. Sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's hard. Stop it! Stop it! Goodness. You're naughty. No, yes. no, no, no. Um, <laughs> but honestly, <laughs> the, the, I found Wraith with your stuff that it is it is part of progressing the story of the characters' relationships. It makes sense. It's fun, it's funny, it's humorous. Sometimes it's passionate or romantic. And I think that variety is important too, rather than page 27. <laughs> yeah. First penetration. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's really, really weird. And, and for those of you who do not read bad things, do it occasionally and try to read them out loud. See what happens to it's you. It's great. Mm. It's awesome. Because some things were not meant to be spoken out loud when they're written <laughs> on the page. And the, the worst one when I do blush yeah. is when I start to see the, should we say the particular fantasy or kink of the author. Author. And it's yeah. not something that I'm necessarily, <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave that. I'm going to leave that alone. Let's put it out and there. It's like, did <clears> you <throat> really want to share that with the world? Yeah. Yes. When, when baked <laughs> goods come into the equation, you know, you're just like going, <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Like, no shaming. That's fine. Good on you, but okay. You needed to Blueberry write that down muffins. and publish it. Yeah. Yes. No, this is just this is just giving me really bad ideas along with the moist towelette, like how this is all going to come in at some point just for fun. Um, I, I think oh, that God. the audience one day would love to see some of the early drafts of these chapters. <laughs> Yeah, we um, Kat used to read me out some stories, and then I realized they were. It was like the bullet point of sex. That it was fun. The bullet point. I was like, all right, all right, and I, maybe I'm not as bad. She to make me feel better. Um, okay. I so agree, Paloma. Choices yeah. were made. That choices day. were made. Jesus. Choice, not necessarily good ones, but uh, choices were made. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think we've actually, dropped down to seventy nine people watching, according to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you who left, I'm so sorry. It just keeps going. We're really. at we're at eighty eighty eight total. I oh, think over eighty one. We've got two back. Moist yeah. toilets. Let's see what happens. <laughs> They're like, this they is dropped. enough of this. Yeah, we're done. Oh God. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Edward, you and I actually talked about this last time. If we've if someone asked me, have you seen the interview with the vampire series? And I said, we talked about it a little bit. I'm like, it's beautifully photographed. I mean, filmed or whatever you call it. Um, is, is that done in Vancouver, by the way? Or no, is no, no, I think that's done in, um, oh God, peach country. Where is it? Georgia, I think. Georgia. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. All a right. quick Google will answer that. Yes, 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 yes. That probably would be a, a good clue. I, um, okay. so Sun Dragon, I have seen the first couple of episodes. I found that I could not get past the toxic romance, which has a lot to do with that particular story. Um, I think it's beautifully acted, beautifully filmed. I think they legit, you know, amped up the um, gay relationship there, which, you know, kudos to them. Um, but one of the things that I personally just can't subscribe to anymore is just either a toxic or a bury your gaze or anything like that. And though that's not what Anne Rice was doing, this is her particular characters. Um, I just could not continue to watch it. I'm trying to watch the Mayfair Witches series, which is absolutely terrible, that comes after that and has nothing to do with her story, which is just fascinating. Which is why, you know, when you do adaptate, I think she would roll over in her grave for that. Uh, but there we go. And we have another, will you be doing the Everdark sequel? We'll just leave that there. Uh, okay. It's called Building Anticipation. Apparently, yes. Interview with a Vampire, the new series, is shot in Louisiana. Oh, well, good. Fantastic. Well, it should be. It should, it should be, be, yes. Because yeah. I don't think there's really any, I don't know if there's any city that quite looks like it, maybe. Well, authentic 18th century sort of plantation architecture and things, yeah. Well, maybe. In I know. In the private chat, can you guys, do you guys see where you say, can you say this in character? And it begins, Christian, you know what your problem is? I do. 
Could you guys, both you and Edward, do that one? Edward, could you find it? Oh God, what am I saying? You're you're gonna say for as Balthazar, you think I'm cute? Uh, okay, yes. As okay, Balthazar, yeah. right? I'm gonna say. Yes. Gotta go put on my Balthazar pants. Yes. <laughs> Those are, are big pants to fill. <laughs> your Christian filter on the mic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know what your problem is? You're really cute, so no one tells you to shut the fuck up. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, Christian. I can't <laughs> find my lines. My lines. You, think, <laughs> you think I'm cute there. I still don't see it. Is it the oh, private no. chat? It yes, is it's in the private, private chat. chat. Uh, it's all so hard, you know. <laughs> Lucky I'm pretty. That's right. Yes. Not real bright, but I can lift heavy things. But I still... <laughs> I still can't find it. Uh, no, 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 sequel. You just say, ah, uh -huh. Yes. All right. Uh, thank, I'll, thank give, you so I'll give you the lead in again. Okay, scene. Right. Oh, yes. Here we go. You know what your problem is? You're really cute, so no one tells you to shut the fuck up. You think I'm cute? Shut up. Yes, they and we'll love do that. we'll do a take we'll do a take two. Here we go. <laughs> Show the versatility. <laughs> Excellent. That's what we do. Here we go. Do you want to give me a note? I love you. Oh, great. Okay. You know what your <laughs> problem is? You're really cute, so no one tells you to shut the fuck up. You think I'm cute? Yes. You think shut I'm up. cute? <laughs> You think I'm cute? You think I'm cute? <laughs> you think I'm cute, cute for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how how much is possible with with dialogue with text of different stories that can be told with the, with the same text. So I think that's fantastic when you have fun characters to play with. Yeah, I could do back to just mumble crap. You think I'm cute? Oh, that got weird. Excellent. That's, that's like Slater. <laughs> yeah. That is the name of that character. Yeah, Slater. No, I'm yes. a vampire. Take me seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are so not cool. Oh god, no. That's gonna be Christian's uh, younger brother, Slater. Slater. Yeah. Excellent. You know, vampires are real. <laughs> and you're also like a total skater boy. Yeah. I yeah. Can see this. Yeah. Maybe surfing. Those... Maybe maybe you could do a vampire surfing episode. No? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that the thorns break named their children Evidon. Christian and Slater? <laughs> he got the joke. He finally got... Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. There we go. Mm. Okay. This one is for Bruno. Are, is there anything about the characters? Uh, I who... think I, Bruno oh. actually stepped out. Oh, um, that's fine. This his, can be he has anyone. his family in town, so he, oh. he had to leave us a bit early. Okay, no problem. All right. They all need their slippers. Then I think they all need their slippers. Every single one. <laughs> yes, to fetch completely slippers coming for in. them. No, no, it's a British thing. You don't understand. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, hold on. It's one like, second. like Sorry, a thong. Like... A thong is footwear. Honest. A thong. Yes, that's exactly it. All right, guys. Um, is there anything about the characters who the voice actors play that they wish they had in themselves? Or that they see the most in themselves, does it help when they get into acting as the character? Whoever would like to start that. I mean, an even beard coverage would be nice. <laughs> has that nice filled in he beard. That'd be, that that'd be good to have, honestly. Oh my God. That would be good. I'm, that would I'm be not excellent. quite. The the demonic gremlin is sixteen forty nine eighteen. Oh, that's the timestamp, right? The demonic yeah. gremlin. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what you mean. It's not is scripture, a, Edward. I, I was going to say, <laughs> what a great username. Verse eight. Are you demonic reading gremlin. the Necronomicon right now. Yes. Oh, God. Are there anything about the characters who the voice actors play that they wish they had in themselves, or that they see the most in themselves? For example, so, I think I've mentioned before. I want Julian's. Uh, impulsiveness and bravery um, that I don't yeah. have. And I do have uh, Christian's <laughs> trepid trepidatiousness, I want to say, to make up a word. I love it. Yeah. Nice. You've okay. you got their voices as well. Well, I've got, nice. I've got Damon's abs, so that's fine. Um, oh, yes. Who yeah. yeah. doesn't have Damon's uh, abs? Yeah, right? Right behind my ab protector. Yes. Um, I'm just keeping I, it safe behind this layer of fat. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. We've all got them. We've all got eight packs. 
Oh my god! Behind the ad protector, I really enjoy Balthazar. Uh, his his wry sense of humor and wit. I wish I had that kind of wit and not sort of the half I have. You see, no one you. laughed. Yeah, no one laughed. Yeah. Oh, I, was I, laugh, say, I, I laughed. I laughed. My microphone say... was off. Oh, thank yeah, you no, so. I was I was going to say I, I wish you had that as well. In all yes, <laughs> yes, I know you do. I know you do. The demonic oh, gremlin God. clarified personality oh, excellent. traits excellent. or fashion sense. Oh, hell yes. I wish I had Ooh. the fashion sense of both those characters. Being able to get away with wearing a wolf fur, fur coat and leather pants and big boots and just mm -hmm. wander down the street and not... <laughs> yeah, that'd be fantastic. I can't afford that budget, but yes. I think um, he prefers being naked, but yes, the wolf coat goes, you know, the second most. Yes. Well, we've got to be friends first before we oh, have that. At least, at least a warm handshake before that happens. Of course, absolutely. Or maybe a nod of the head, you know, a little. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, so um, Ketan asked me, would Damon like motorcycles as opposed to cars? Yes, I think he would. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Those... I, big ass hog that he could wrap his legs around and really, yes, yes, is the answer. Very much. Okay, so guys. Maybe have is... it flames on the side with his face. Oh, um, God, yes. Maybe, yes. Yes, and we have a name. Oh, yes, he, he may call it Julian. Oh, there we go. Oh, Jules. Nice. Jules. Jules. Yeah. Jules. And a lot of, lot of leather daddy stuff going on there, I suspect. Yeah, so that's why it suits him. And he yeah. would definitely not wear a helmet. Be oh, totally definitely not. No, no. So no. the hair could, could flow out magnificently like a mane as he roars <laughs> down the highway. The, yes, absolutely. Wouldn't even put on the headlight. Oh, God. Total oh. bat out of hell vibes. And yes, I'm afraid Julian doesn't always have to ride bitch, but you know, he no. could sometimes be up front. Oh, nice. Oh, facing. that's so good of him. Ooh, oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Facing, facing him. Mm. Oh, my God. I now think I'm, I'm revealing myself. I'll stop now. <laughs> <laughs> okay which word is worse soggy or moist 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 is worse moist, moist. i'm confused moist where the worse. line is with this live stream right now <laughs> <laughs> if there was jumping a theme about. it feels like about. we're daring youtube to, to invoke band hammer yeah. 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 Oh, yeah oh god oh god moist That's or so soggy. soggy um i mean soggy? we could always we could each have a go at saying both words and let the chat decide which word from which person they prefer. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I want to introduce other ones too. What about fetid? Oh, oh. I like fetid. Fetid. Yes, but if I described your trousers as fetid. Oh. You know. How dare. Pungent. Oh, <laughs> pungent. I don't know. Moist and fetid really Lip. takes it down with a little bit of well, when you sogginess. Put them both, if you, yeah, yeah. Moist, fetid, flaccid. You put them all together oh. and it's just not nice. It's not, not a good thing. Rants. It. Oh, good Lord. Um, okay. One second here. Just like scrolling down. And we successfully avoided the question. Well done, everyone. Well done. That, excellent. <laughs> excellent. I like it. I like it. Okay. So there is what about, another. What about squirt? The squirt. Works. Does that ever bother anyone? Yeah. Squirt, squelch. Those kind of bother me a little bit. Squirt, you know what squelch. It, erupt. Squick. It bothers me. And erupt. I that. Erupt. Yeah. In a sentence, could you use that word for us, please? Um, <laughs> not a sentence I could say on YouTube that I'm thinking of right now. He Fair erupted. Enough. The soggy um, the volcano erupted <laughs> across the moist <laughs> toilet. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. With a pungent squirt. Oh, a phlegm? Oh, no. Phlegm? A phlegm. Um, phlegm might be. Are we, are, we, yeah. are we actively trying to lose people? <laughs> Let's check oh, out how many people are left. There are still 80 people watching. What is wrong with you people? Wow. Oh, oh, God. Wow. Yeah, you should all this take a long, hard look at yourselves. Forever remembered by everyone. Yes. Yes. Um, long. <laughs> long remembered. All right. So there is actually a. Uh, and, and Cersei has asked for another thing to say in character. Uh, it's in the private chat that was pasted into, and it says um, Balthazar, I can guarantee, and then Arceus. So it's Balthazar and Arceus. So Jay and Edward, can you find it in the private chat? It's not too far back. Um, I, I have to work with him. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> You're forced we to. We specifically decide to record our lines separate. 
because of that face to face. As far apart as it possible. Just didn't work. Oh, you're missing out. It's Everybody, horrible. get into your jean shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don, don your jorts and get ready to play. Oh, Jesus. Mine, mine are bedazzled. You're all just jealous. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> okay. Did you find it? Uh, yes. All right. Go. <laughs> go. 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 I can't guarantee I will be Christian. I'll take that again. Uh, um, <laughs> try reading. You Edward, 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 Edward. I have yes, a yes. note. You've got a note? Um, well, go ahead. Yeah, the opposite of read what the, you said. Read the, read the, just read the lines. Speak the lines. Right, right. That's, that's, anyway. Enjoy it less. Speak the speech. <laughs> I'm afraid because I pronounced it to you. Thank you. Right. I can guarantee I will be Christian's second husband. What happens to his first husband? Nothing. You can prove. Oh my God! They made Ooh. Christian evil. Oh, <laughs> what is this? No, I think I think I think they they made Balthazar maybe. Uh, Jay, oh, maybe Balthazar Jay, I've got a note. I've got a note. Yeah, yes, so I've got a note, note for you, uh, Jay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could we just yeah. try it again? And this time, if you could be a little less crap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. I'm 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 honestly just I'm honestly just working off what I'm given. But I can oh, yes, I can, I can work I can work for myself if if. if I, I heard that about you working for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Must yeah. be lonely. Yeah. So, All uh, right. So if you, again, if you want to jump again. on in. Right. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Okay. Oh. Good. What am I visiting? Oh. What am I seeing? Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Do you want me to give you a line reading of yours? I can, I I can you line read yours and then. Yeah. Okay. Give me a line reading. Go. go ahead. How okay. would you do it? <laughs> this is. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Go, please. I can guarantee I will. Jeez, oh, yeah, I need to read. I need to take that from the top as well. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Check one, two, check one, two. Mm -mm -mm. Mouth and tongue, teeth and lips. Here we go. I can guarantee I will be Christian's second husband. <laughs> <laughs> so just like that. Okay? Great, that's nice, you big Nancy boy. Right? <laughs> what, happened his, what happened to his first husband? <laughs> Nothing oh you can prove. Oh, bloody hell. Right? Oh so. Oh, right. What happened to his first husband? Well, you know how these things are. Competition right, I do. Is tough. right. Okay. You know, I got nothing on under me kilt, right? No. Uh, uh, I'm question. a berserker. Are you, are you going under the assumed title of Billy Why are you Connolly? being so weird with that, that voice? <laughs> oh, no. It could happen too, right? Like that, but no one's oh going to understand God. if I go like that. Right? Okay. Ever dark in an alternative universe. <laughs> and then we could do the evil version. We could do the, oh, we're gonna have a mirror universe, right? Where we'd go evil. Oh yes, with the with everyone having mustaches and little weird beards, little weird goatees. People are people are positing what drugs we're on. I honestly just finished a <laughs> cup of tea with like I'd a love tiny some. bit of sugar in it, and that's what it's uh, done. I love yeah. some. Well, many of them are legal uh, here. So I can <laughs> guarantee I will be Christian's second husband. Oh, <laughs> what happens like to it. his first husband? Nothing you can prove. All right. I like it. That was that was very nice. That was very nice. I think, um, I think Vanessa and uh, and Hannah should have a crack at that one. <laughs> All right. Go <laughs> Only if Vanessa request, does. I request Vanessa. Hannah doing Arceus. No, I was going to say, I don't do it. I can't do Scottish accent, but Rebecca That's what does I an asked. amazing Scottish <laughs> Are we gonna go on a tour oh, right, of the right. aisles now, right? Okay, uh, let's do it. Do it. Oh. All right, Vanessa, I'm gonna play Balthazar. Can you do the? Can you do Arceus? Okay, okay, I okay. can. I'm ready for this. You... Oh, All right. God. We can Are do you going to give them any notes, any notes, Jay, before they kick off? Just we don't the take notes. No, 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 they're, 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 no, they're, no, they're, they're professionals. Professionals. Actually, you might need a bit of help. Yeah. Yeah, unlike us. Fair enough. <laughs> exactly. I can get. Guarantee I will be Christian's second husband. Oh. What happens to his first husband? I love it. You can prove. <laughs> I don't know. The what lady sort of took nothing, it. Man. Nothing. Nothing oh, you yeah. can prove. Nothing. Oh, yeah. can, can, we prove. Get, can we get like a, a sister for Arceus or something like that? Oh, I, I think <laughs> that has to be. Yes. yes. Rebecca's oh, really good. Vanessa. I... Oh, my God. 
I think there should be a uh, uh, Arceus's ex-wife that he married, who was a Valkyrie shield maiden from the the villages, and he ran away from her because she was too scary. She's been hunting him ever since. <laughs> you said you were stepping out for some herring. I was born to play. Wait, you stepped out for us. You left me with the wee barons in the porridge. No, that's terrible. I shouldn't I, do that. That's terrible. I actually saw Vanessa. I saw Vanessa on stage in a fantastic day where she plays a Scottish detective. It's a detective, right? Yeah. Yeah. Her accent was so good. I, I thought, like, I've known her for <laughs> many, many years, but I thought, I'm like, did she, is she Scottish? All, I was like, I never know this about her. She was oh so God. good at it. I'm secretly Scottish. It's my, yeah. <laughs> yes, I thought Keep you were secretly low, Scottish. <laughs> Excellent. That sounds like the title God, of a Janet. terrible romance book, doesn't it? Secretly Scottish. <laughs> now on the Hallmark Channel. If you Googled oh, it, God. I'll bet you it shows up. I walked in and he was deep frying a Mars bar for some reason. I think he might be secretly Scottish. Oh, no. A soggy haggis slipped from his sock. <laughs> Just a series and of he short stories. And he grabbed the <laughs> Moist Tallowed. Oh, oh. oh God, I'm sorry. This is like, you guys. <laughs> if there's anyone who's Scottish on this stream, forgive us. Please forgive us. <laughs> secret or otherwise. Secret or otherwise. <laughs> well, if they weren't the secret, secret before, of the they're secret now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we have like a super chat. So I do want to acknowledge this. Thank you so much, Leisurely Panda, for the $20 super chat. And the question is, if Damon and Valerius were to get into a friendly brawl to see who's stronger, who would win? Valerius is the Black Dragon King from Dragon's Reign. Um, Damon would win. No, they both it, would win. Oh, they both would win. How oh, yes. so? I oh, how? can't say it on YouTube. Oh. Oh. All oh, right. you know. You know yes. they'll be testing strength. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. And they're doing a sword fight? I don't think we even need to go there. Oh, good Lord. Oh, good God. But, um... Yes. That's what so... Valerius would say, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yes. So, they would both win. So, that is the answer. That is what we've got to see. All right. Hold that on is now here. canon. It, that is totally now canon. <laughs> oh, God. They're, they're very good friends. Very good. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Uh, another brief question for me. After Everdark Academy ends, we go back to the Mare universe? No, because there is... Far, there's another story after at least once more, one more, but probably more after Ever Dark Academy. All right, <clears throat> let's see here. La 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 la. Okay, Edward, you have been requested to say moist towelettes as Damon. <laughs> oh, you, why are you people enabling him? <laughs> oh, I God. love you all, everyone in the chat. I love you all. Thank you for mm. this opportunity. <laughs> I brought it myself. All right, hang on a second. <sighs> Valerius, pass me the moist toilets. <laughs> now I do understand the enjoy best note. <laughs> no, no, but the note, the note was for me, Adam, not for you. <laughs> People are just saying now moist in the chat. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's the secret additional bloodline. <laughs> the moist <laughs> bloodline. <laughs> their pa their power is more aggressive. Yeah. They can make small objects somewhat fetid and soggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they make things soggy. <laughs> with a you know in, with a malodorous scent. Oh, God. Oh, Full moon, yes. which I hope I hope that was worth that. I hope that was worth the wait. Um, uh, thank you so much. Knowing for enabling my luck, me. I would fully be in the moist bloodline. One Yes. That'd be my yes. luck. I'd be moist. The moist yes. bloodline. <laughs> and your, your power <laughs> is to make people slightly uncomfortable. Yes, yeah, slightly uncomfortable. Slightly damp. <laughs> slightly damp. <laughs> A little bit sweaty and smelly. You know, like armpit oh, smell. Yes. <laughs> That's my power. No, not the moist bloodline. They are the most powerful. <laughs> the most feared. Oh. The most feared this, bloodline. This oh. blood den smells a little, really. <laughs> a little odd, a little, a little moist. <laughs> <laughs> a little fetid, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. The, the name of the club has got to be Rising Damp. 
Oh, squelch <laughs> is a great word. They squirt and squelch. They've add. They've added these. They're really enjoying this way too much. All right, I'm going to take <laughs> okay. a deep breath and just step out for a second. <laughs> Excuse me, all, everyone. <laughs> All right, so we now have a serious question. Honestly, on the subject of Christian, I've, I've been seeing reading more and more comments on our site and on the Discord about the headcanon of him being somewhere on the autistic spectrum. Opinions. So I guess, Adam, you and I can talk about that. Our spectrum speculations. I have no yes. idea. I'd, I would be curious to um, hear some of those theories. I, I personally don't really know that much about the autistic spectrum and what kind of... Uh, uh, I guess qualifies a person to be on that spectrum. What are what do you think? You know, I did have a little bit of that. I I did add a little bit of that in. I have to admit, um, but I think a lot of people who um, I think they draw uh, conclusions because dealing he feels things so deeply, mm -hmm. and that's almost painful for him. So he's constantly trying to <clears throat> control what his emotions would do to him. And I do think that people on the autism spectrum really do feel things in a very deep way. And they are actually having to, you know, um, deal with the whole world that that's so loud, overbearing, and, um, you know, basically they have to keep it together all the time. So I think that that, right. I could see why people would see that about Christian. There is kind of, that aspect. I mean, it's the nice thing about this, um medium is uh, well and, and most kind of artistic mediums is people if they see a reflection of maybe their own lived experience in a character or a friend of theirs lived experience and and are identifying those things i think that's awesome i don't know necessarily like from what i know about the autistic spectrum and kind of being um uh maybe not being able to identify emotions as clearly or or uh, to me um christian seems quite attuned to his own experience he's certainly going through it like he's certainly processing a lot uh in these chapters but um yeah i don't know i nothing really had stuck out to me but i'd be really interested to read uh to read more about people's opinions on it yeah for sure so if you know if your opinions or thoughts if you guys want to put them in the chat we'll try to get up since it's mm -hmm. you know been very difficult here unfortunately for me to see everything but i know we go back and look for sure so there is super chat um, from Infralinks. Just been the entire volume three. She means no, no spoilers. But what happened to a certain Eros or Eros? Eros involving Iros, a Cali yes, gift yeah. is my favorite. Is my favorite thing ever. Love you all. I'm wondering if they're invoking. Oh, they might be invoking the. Um, alcohol i wish i could know exactly what you meant and for links i'm being very dumb right now i'm being very dumb right now all right but oh i see so much so, sorry kayla what? has just said kayla cooper said as someone who has autism spectrum disorder and i've been through the same trauma christian has been through i do relate to him for that that's really interesting so almost the uh christian's experience with david was perhaps kind of a event in his life that that made him withdraw in some way emotionally yeah interesting well, we can definitely say that's that. how yeah. i'm that's how i'm interpreting that kayla you can clarify if i'm totally off base that's really interesting though yeah no it's a definitely i i like that take definitely um and i like that people can see themselves in him and in the other characters not mm -hmm. just as someone to aspire to be but as someone that they really do relate to which i think I think that obviously Christian and Balthazar are the two characters that are far more able to be, they're more human, I guess. I always feel like Julian and Damon are like the superhero characters, if that makes sense, based on their, both of them just being very like uber versus like Christian and Balthazar. Um, they have, they're, they're much more grounded in that way, I think. Right. Okay. So, all right, uh, Wraith, they asked me, who is more possessive, Valerius or Damon? Damon. Damon is much more. I think because Damon, um, and I can't even imagine how this would be, and I, I think that Edward has stepped away, but uh, I, can you imagine watching everyone around you be able to create fledglings and every single one you've tried to make dies horribly? Uh, so the one person who doesn't, uh, 
I, I can't even imagine like how to me, I almost feel like he should act more possessively because quite frankly, like Julian may be it. I don't think that they, he would risk taking another person um, even if he had a desire to. So I, and not to say that um, there would be another one that Valerius would want other than Caden um, in Dick Dragon's reign, because they're definitely together. But I do think that after the deaths that Damon has seen, um, I think it might be a little bit more fraught and all this kind of stuff. Um, let's see here. So Carrie Ann Vaughn asks, hi, Wraith, do you plan to do this for more of your books? Probably talking about cast recordings. We will just say, we will just say, we will say, we'll see what's going on in the, in the, in the future. So yes, yes. All right. Hold on a second here. Kat, can you put some more questions in the chat? Cause I know there have been some. And I know that we're totally fully behind. Hopefully that you're still on to do it. Yes, you are. Excellent. I'm like trying to find more. I can't get over the fact that basically um, the entire chat's been like destroyed. All right. Let me just look down here. Hold on one second. We're taking a moment. All right. So here we go. Have any of the voice actors ever disliked or felt funny about listening to recordings of their own voices? Vanessa, how about you? What do you think? Do you, do you like hearing yourself or no? Oh my God. I mean, I'm, I am better about it now, but I remember the first few times I heard my voice recorded and, oh, it's not how it sounds in your head. It's distressing. Not at all. Not yeah. at all. How about you, Hannah? What do you think? She may have stepped away. Sorry, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't step away. I didn't step away. I just, you know, that mute thing. That I'm trying not to interrupt other people. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're also smart, you know, average. Um, oh God, is it hard to listen to? I, I think, like Vanessa, it, it it's really difficult at first. But because I have to listen to myself a lot, I just kind of get used to it. I, I find it's easier to listen to myself doing character voices than it is to just listen to my voice talking like now. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Character voices seem Absolutely. way easier to listen to than, than me just as me blathering on about moistness and... <laughs> whatever else everybody else <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> that's interesting though because i think i feel almost the opposite when i hear myself attempting an accent it makes me cringe but i've gotten <laughs> so used to i think the sound of my own speaking voice over time when i first heard myself recorded on a good microphone it was uh not horrifying but it's not what i it's not what you think you sound like not to go into the science of it all but because our head is a resonator you hear your own voice when you're speaking as maybe a little bit more resonant and melodious and deep. And I think, uh, I know for men anyways, when they hear the recorded voices, they often sound slightly more shrill than they were intending. But I've gotten used to, I think, the sound of the sound of my normal speaking voice. The accents still throw me. I get nitpicky and, and self-critical. Well, I think we all do do that as actors we're super self-critical i mean it's again it's part of the job most of the time people aren't going to tell you when you're shit so you have to be able to tell <laughs> if you're doing a speak for yourself job. laura <laughs> have you have you met jay Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm Jay. more than happy to be the antagonist for this live stream. No, he's he's the no. he's the Cassandra of the group, isn't he? He's just doomed to tell the truth and have no one believe him. <laughs> or... I, I want to say that it really helps having uh, uh, an excellent writer give you good things to say, because uh, sometimes you can come onto a show, do a play, uh, do an audio book, and you afterwards you meet people who mistakenly interpret that that you are that person from the stage yes. and very intelligent and dark and brooding and Ooh. all those things and then they and then i say moist and it all just <laughs> goes horribly wrong so apart. it really helps having having uh, excellent writing uh, and so i agree i find it easier to speak <laughs> some of those lines within the context of the story but saying them in real life i would cringe I, I believe it. And by the way, everyone thinks that there's something in our tea and is spreading the unhinged energy everywhere. Everyone thinks this. 
I'll just go with it. Just enjoy. It's, just enjoy. Yeah. There's, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm 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 so when tired. Edward and I are together. Yes. Yeah, the two of you are incorrigible. That's why I have to keep you separate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, reason. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. So I'm sorry if I if I'm a little bit fragmented, <laughs> you guys. But we I'm enjoying this are. so much, so we much. I love are. it. Um. Okay. So, I uh, Rose Ellen has a question: Is Damon's blood poisonous to other vampires? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> but. We haven't tried that yet, but he does. I think his is definitely. I think it definitely is. Okay. Um, Z Gutierrez asks Does Balthazar have other fledglings? Will we meet them? Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> he does. He had yeah. to have you guys. Because um, you all know, because you're up to date, you know he's Iro. So, of course, he has to have quite a few fledglings. Um, Okay, here's a good, uh, here's a question. Oh, once again, um, they really love to compare Dragon's Reign and Everdark and like say the, or the characters like one another. Do you think Julian and Caden would really get along and get, be friends? Absolutely. Absolutely. They would be such good friends. They would have a great time. I think all of them would. Okay, so this is for everyone in the cast. Does hearing your real accent on a recording sound unpleasant or exaggerated? So if you're just, I don't know, do you guys ever use your own own voices for anything? Even as the narrator, I guess I should say. It would seem like that, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, all, all the time. Well, the question I, is, I, are we even using our real voices now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that accent. Oh, thanks, God. thanks. What what is real? What is real in this cyberspace anyway? I mean, does it matter? Do you really want to hear me? Oh, I mean, God. I think the fantasy is better. I I do use my real voice um, for some books, but it depends on the genre. It depends on the style. I don't think that if we're doing that, there's a trope that fantasy novels, especially for some reason, there's a lot of uh, British Isles accents that are accepted for these fantasy realms. Uh, if you were, for instance, to do a sort of Chicago or, you know, along the Great Lakes, their Buffalo accent or Jersey yes. or something, uh, that that may, <laughs> it's a choice, it's a choice, but I don't think it would go down as well. Uh, whereas yeah. for modern Edward, stuff, Edward, you're doing think, a, you're about to open a play where you're doing a Bo Boston accent, I want to say. No, 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 I'm doing, I'm Chicago. doing Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Chicago. Oh, oh my God. God. Doing all that kind of thing, right? And then the issue is with with an accent, like I sometimes turn into like, you know, what's his name? Joe Pesci, right? right? Joe and Pesci, yeah. And it's not uh, <laughs> everyone wants to be Joe Pesci. Right? Yeah. Oh God, man. And and the other thing is is with accents is you've got to find a tone which is enjoyable to listen to, especially with long form audiobooks, because oh, um, yeah. dear listeners, tell us all about it. If you oh, are yes. listening to a voice that is nasal has weird tempo rhythms. It's just not pleasurable to listen to. Uh, we've all had those professors, I'm sure, in school or university who just drove you nuts yeah. or sent you to sleep in not a good way. So I think I, I do use my, my real accent sometimes when it's appropriate. Ooh. That, that's, you know, when, one wonders, when is it appropriate? I mean, well, I think... like, I don't know, right? <laughs> if you want to hear me doing like, I'm King Damon. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, that's my favorite accent, though. He does this. Right. He does I this do. I try farmer. to sneak it. I do. Oh. Yeah. I love oh, it. I love oh, it. Oh, my God. The, the first time he used it was for a book we were doing, and it was literally a turnip farmer was just like a, a small character in like a wagon who with turnips in the back, and he was, you know, gave some girl a lift. And it was, I could not get over it. And it's been in pretty much everything we've done ever since. <laughs> I think it's in Sinners and Ashes. I, it, I, it, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, he appears it is. there. Yes. Yes. So it's an Easter egg. I, I, I think for all of us, <laughs> we've got a free space here to change how we sound. I I think that we should be allowed to, to mimic and to adopt a sound that we enjoy. Uh, oh, you know, just think about the workspace. We speak differently. With our families, we speak differently. I know people who, when they speak to me, have one voice and then they talk to their parents, especially if they're children of immigrants, and they adopt a completely different sound. So, again, what's the real accent? It's, its own version of code switching. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we way... alter our bodies with, you know, gyms and foods and tattoos and piercings to the way we wish to look. So why not 
you know, change your voice a little bit to something yeah. that you feel is more you. Absolutely. I have a colleague who works with people who are transitioning to adapt voice use, to learn how to use the voice to find a sound that is more fitting to how they want to express themselves, how they want to live. So I think it's fantastic. Well, there's well, a lot of uh, work in the in the uh, corporate space. I know a lot of actors work in the corporate space teaching um, corporate um, people, people who work regular jobs <laughs> that make real money, um, how to speak in public, how to sound convincing, because it's so much a part of their job and they don't get training for that in school. You don't go do an MBA and learn how to speak. That's true. Well, we all have, um, it, it, by the way, there is someone Scottish in the chat and they're, they're approving us all having Scottish accents. So we can try that. That would be good. We, we, can, we can change to that. Excellent. I love seeing Hannah have little meltdowns when she has to do Highland romance novels between you and oh, me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you do that? Can you do it? I the can't. They all sound, they just all sound kind of Irish. And I, there's one book that I did not long ago. And I, I, it was part of a series. And it was the only sort of like Scottish one in the series. And there were like three women, all the same age, all the same class all Scottish accents. And I was like, I can't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. And they just all sounded kind of Irish, but not a single review has called me out on it. <laughs> and I am shocked so far. I thought, oh my God, this is going to go out there and I am going to get raked across the coals for doing this. I murdered oh the accent. I murdered it. Um, and it's so inconsistent all the way through. But I did it. I mean, I, I did it. No one's complained about it yet. So it's but been it's out for Not a while. even the author, obviously. The author was good with it. They were like, oh, this is Yeah, great. the author. And the, the, the author is Australian. So, okay. you know. Uh, <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> like, wait a minute. I mean, here. if you're into sort of bodice rippers, please go and uh, have a, a listen to those books um uh, edward does them with me we we Sweet. also narrate under uh, duke and duchess de foie um when we're nice. doing sort of period period romances i love it i love it <laughs> okay so i, I personally yeah. want i think there should be some uh, period ever dark stuff i think that'd be pretty fantastic oh, i would yeah. i've always thought wouldn't it be fun if we saw maybe balthazar because i'm obsessed with balthazar shut up um <laughs> maybe before he he changed or before he or did he ever change? Or was he always? I don't know. I just think that's really interesting of his past life, um, exploring some of the war. I think there's so much possibilities with the Everdark world, the universe, yeah. to yeah, play yeah, within. Yeah. yeah. No, we're going... Um, a young there. Arceus. There we go. Arceus a, before he had a beard. Arceus. Well, uh, before he had a beard. Yeah. Do vampires, uh, their hair change? Do their hair grow? Um, yeah, no, I think he always had a beard, but he was born with a beard. He came oh, he popped was. out of his we mother with a full yeah. beard. Absolutely. Um, Total Chad beard. By That's the way, his you... first name, ladies and gentlemen, Chad Arceus. Chad Arceus. Chadwick. <laughs> no. Oh, good Lord. Yes, in Everdark Academy, um, Edward, uh, you know, we see a bit of Iros, the original Iros. And I also think I'd like to do um, like a short piece where honestly we see where um, Balthazar meets Roan for the first time and how that all goes, what all happens there. Roan Tithe is his master and how he gets sh changed. So we have all these opportunities, guys. We have a lot of opportunities. All right. So this is for everyone. If you could use one line to portray your character as someone who has never heard of the series before, which would it be? And that is so freaking hard. I think they mean from the book and I wouldn't even know what I would use. But I guess how would maybe like how would you describe uh, your character? Like what's your elevator pitch for one of your characters? And that's so hard. I can't even do an elevator pitch for for Everdark. I've tried. I have tried. I think we could all sum up julian in one sentence i was just gonna say that <laughs> okay all right, all right, let's do don't it. do it I, don't, don't want to steal it. your thunder man oh, don't do, do it, it do it do it do it vampires are real yay <laughs> <laughs> he did the thing tara he got did the thing. thing tara got the first. thing oh my god although <laughs> Thank Jody you, suggested yeah. moist towelette. That's a little, <laughs> little harsh. Moist towelette. I wouldn't describe Julian as a moist towelette. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. Paloma, Paloma said, I am king. 
I think that yes, would be, that that would be Damon. One. I am oh, yeah. King would definitely be Damon's. I don't know. Uh, when and I, I, and I, when I, I think of Damon, I think of my style is eternal. Oh, yes. My style Every is eternal. Time. I want All a right. t-shirt. I want it, I want a whole fashion line <laughs> that says, <laughs> that says um, my, my style is eternal on it. There you go. T-shirts. What do you think, chat? What should we have on t-shirts? <laughs> Obviously, we have to have yes. vampires are real. Uh, yes. Really, yes. That's, Yes, we definitely have to have I Am King. We definitely have mm -hmm. to have My, uh, style, my style is eternal. eternal. Moist yeah. Towelette. Moist Towelette, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> moist Towelette. This person has the best. Uh, you need to sell Moist Towelettes in the shop with fang pictures on them. Brilliant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Just know that the line... Why do I feel like Moist, moist, moist Towelette? Towelette would be yes. the most popular uh, thing in your shop. It would just sell out every time you put something up. Oh my god. I would buy it. Oh I'd be like, I need that t-shirt. <laughs> I have it's to say to Guys, everyone, new I... moist towelette just dropped. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> is that your alternate <sighs> German Euro funk band, is it? Yes. It is yes, actually. <laughs> oh god. That's All a right. really hard question. What line would sum up Balthazar? Probably something like, shut up, Arceus. <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't know. No. <laughs> It's like, why are you all so stupid? Yes. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm so bored. No, I'm so bored. No, I'm so, I'm so bored. beautiful. I'm so oh, charming. I know what it is. Now, it's, you only hate me because I'm beautiful. Yes. That's, yes. That's, no, you all that it, would be, it would be, it's not arrogant if you are that good. Yes, that's yes, true. Yes, that is so true. That is so true. Yeah. Christian would probably be like, you're all so silly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, hold on one second here. I'm just going through. I'm just behind. Yeah, I think doing blurbs and summaries to try to capture something is it's the hardest freaking thing ever. Um, as I'm having to do one for our newest one. Here we go. Adam and Edward. Do you think Damon or Julian is more affectionate? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I, I, I think they kind of equal each other in a lot of ways. Because they, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that where we're at in the public record at the moment, uh, for me, I think Damon is still terrified of driving Julian away. Right. Yeah. Of, of that he'll say or do something that will break him or hurt him. Even, you know, demonstrating the full capacity he has, his full powers is something that really bother him. So I imagine there also is an element there of navigating that wonderful newness of a relationship of how affectionate can I be, when, how. Uh, so at this point, I think Julian is more affectionate, but that just might be because I'm looking for those signs of affection when I'm reading. Um, the secret is, is that Damon is actually really needy of that, really wanting that. It's an experience he hasn't had in millennia or ever. So I, I think we'll see it may change, though, as the story progresses. Damon certainly nice. initiates any affection between the two of them, though, I think. It takes a little while for Julian to warm to the idea, but he definitely, as a person, I think, is very affectionate. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, he's an explorer. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who've read the tentacle scene, you know what we're talking about. Oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder how I'm going to describe Oldly that go. for YouTube. To Just boldly go where no man has gone before. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> moving shafts Maybe a few yes moves. yes oh god it'll be described as moist and you all will know what that means now and you will you will know that you must listen to this maybe maybe that's what we put on the podcast now um do, you know, moisture warning or something moisture warming yes instead of like heat level it'll be moisture warming Moist, moistness level oh god <laughs> this oh. is rated arid uh like this like the sahara, sahara. Um, it's so uh jody asked if there's going to be a because remember the bloodline gift quiz uh there's not going to be a mobile one we're like hand doing that i i can't even tell you it would just be our our technology is very sad our technology uh, we do a really good job we have jeremy's awesome but yeah uh yeah yeah okay hold on one second people are i'm scrolling through we have a few more we have a bunch more actually Okay, I like this. Like, what is reality? I think that'll be a question that'll just be up there. Okay, 
Oh, and I have to find the super chat. All right. Um, uh, I've been asked by Vanessa, will I ever do another live stream after hearing how insane everybody is? <laughs> <laughs> I will just be silent about that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Actually, Kat wants to know if you're doing, is it Mammoth? Are, are you doing a Mammoth? Is that what it's? Is that no, the... no, I'm not. No. No. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do you love a mammoth, though? <laughs> so is, is your, yeah. Um, hold on one second. Just scrolling down here because I want to find the, um, there's another, we have another. There's a lot of discussion, Adam, by the way, about um, the issue of whether or not Christian is autistic. So that's been a really good, uh. it's on the spectrum somehow. Hold on, there is. I'm still scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Kayla did uh, have a couple follow-ups in the chat. I, I I did read them. I just didn't really respond okay. to them. But thank you for sharing that uh, story, Kayla. That's really insightful. Yeah, no, that's been very good. Um, Jody wants to get a book review for your fanfic, Edward. It's all okay. I have a fanfic. Well, the one that you're writing with the moist towelettes on this Shh. podcast. It's not, it's not relationship. <laughs> um, both of are, I'm surrounded by idiots. That's probably what he would say. <laughs> and you don't like cats, do you, Christian? Um, here we go. Wait a minute here. All right. We have to get this one up. So can you confirm whether any or all members of the Swedish <laughs> hip-hop sensation ABBA are siren vampires? <laughs> What do people think? Yes. All. Definitely. Absolutely. Wait, wait. Are ABBA considered hip-hop? Are they? No. No. That's amazing to me. Pop. Firmly they got to be pop. Gay, gay pop. Yeah, they would have to be <laughs> Gay, pop. gay pop. Two gays. Mm -hmm. One pop. We've claimed One them pop. All right. Um, I don't... Okay. The best request. type of cultural appropriation. <laughs> Can people say tentacle scene while I'm scrolling down here? That's not going to be as good as moist toilet. I don't know. But tentacle scene, is it? Uh, uh, hold on one second here. I'm just going to go on. So, um, Edward, you're doing a play right now. What is everyone else doing? Silence. Silence. <laughs> Silence I'm falls. I'm, um, I've been. Well, I mean, I do audiobooks pretty much full time, plus this, plus all the producing stuff. It keeps me really busy. It's like a full time job and a half. Um, so I'm not doing much else uh, other than trying to get some sleep in between my days right now. Um, I bet. Yeah. I Vanessa, largely... you must be up to something. Yes, go. Oh my God. Go. Well... Now, go, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Nothing. I have nothing. Uh, no, actually, speaking of speaking of dialects, um, <laughs> I'm just oh about to start rehearsals for a production of Under Milkwood, which is oh. Welsh, which is yes. not an uh, accent that is yet in my wheelhouse. So that will do you be not talk to uh, talk to Bruno because his. I mean, he grew up on the Welsh border. His Welsh Ooh. accent is is excellent. Good, because oh, I will need a is. lot of got help. got a great dirty Welsh accent. Lovely. Yeah. Ooh, I do like yeah. a dirty Welsh accent. <laughs> Adam, what are you up to? Well, I largely do uh, commercial voiceover work. So I nice. imagine the dullest piece of text you could imagine and then make it worse. And that's probably <laughs> what I'm doing. I'm in the middle right now, no lie, of a uh, 35 module training course that oh. is teaching people who work at a trust manufacturing plant how to uh, plan their budget every year. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I yeah, don't know. 20, 20 minute long module. And they're like, yeah. we need you to sound like uh, an every man. Like you're explaining this to blue collar people, <laughs> but you're explaining high concept accounting principles to the. This sounds like an ever like a guy you're meeting at a bar. Place. Exactly, but explaining very high level <laughs> like yeah. economic principles. It's uh, it's a hoot. Oh, God. <laughs> hoot. Uh, 
Oh God, Jay! I, what I had to do to? one. Okay. I had to do a corporate voiceover once. My most shameful secret, everyone, for the oil Ooh. industry. Yes, oh. I hope it paid uh, well. Was, was, it it didn't. Oh, um, it's not as well as it should have. And I had to explain how offshore gas and oil was pumped into things, and I had oh. no idea what the hell I was talking about. But doing all tech <laughs> speak, and they wanted that you know blue collar worker, but not too blue collar. Right, uh, and and it was ridiculous. I had no idea, and no one in the studio knew what the hell any of these terms meant. Oh Jesus! Not Jesus. to bring up politics, but my most shameful job is was uh, working on working uh, on a campaign for a politician. We'll say whose policies I very much disagreed with, but I to make myself <laughs> feel better, secretly donated my fee to his uh, competition. Opponent? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, just thought the, nice. I thought the irony of him hiring a gay Canadian would be uh, not lost on me. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. I love it. Oh, God. Jay, what are you doing currently other than trying to live through this live stream? Um, <laughs> that's actually going pretty well, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> still alive, still here, still having fun. Loving the comments from everyone. Um, I've got a two-hander play in the middle of the year uh, that is pretty much confirmed. And then um, doing my usual auditionings and writing D&D things and running D&D things and all those sort of bits and pieces. And uh, a trip to Australia uh, in the next week for a little bit Ooh. for a family Ooh. member's wedding. Oh, fun. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. fun. Nice. Although God knows that would be a flight. Yikes. Yeah, it's a, um, uh, last time I did it, I threw my neck out somehow. Oh, so. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Fun. Fun. Uh, a, my best friend, like he, for some reason, going to England from Chicago has decided that he, he got stuck in a middle seat and the guy next to him fell asleep and he had to pee from the entire way, but didn't want to wake him. So by the time he got to London, he was like, oh, I have to go, I have to go. And then he goes in, he comes back out and he looks at me shamefacedly. He's like, I think I reabsorbed it. So yeah, that that's that was probably too much information. <laughs> I don't know why I shared that. <laughs> that's all, yeah. Alrighty then, yeah. All right, so we do have um, is a question, a couple more questions here. So is Damon fluent in all languages? Absolutely. I think when you can read minds, I'm like, I'm curious if there would even ever be an issue with you about languages. I would imagine you, you'd just be able to sort of like absorb them. Like, I don't know. Because I definitely see like obviously Balthazar being very fluent. I think, I think Damon would too. I think, I think the, only problem, the only problem would be trying to communicate a concept into a limited language set for which there is no words. True. Oh, that's very, very true. So trying to explain to humans what happens after they die and what is beyond the barrier and those sort of ideas, just no word for it. Nice. All right. Um, question for everyone. What is your favorite snack? Cheese. Like, cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to kill the silence, you know. Okay. Oh my god! I thought you were pretending to be Wallace from Wallace and Gromit for a second. <laughs> cheese. Pungent cheese. Pungent cheese. Uh, I'm, I'm a. Having... I'm a. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, and something alcoholic. All right, all right. I like it. And a I'm handful a of and a handful of nuts. <laughs> yes, of course. Edward, everything what? you say. Or... No, I'm not. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shake them at the microphone. Give right the now. people what they want. Give the people what they want. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm all, all right. for sugar. Anything with sugar, um, I'm on sugar. that. Sugar and caffeine keep me going. Nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> Jay. Yeah, I'm, more all, cheese. I'm all about. I'm all about. No, I'm all about uh, chocolate. All about chocolate. Awesome. Sugar, oh, yeah, right. but not, not kind of candies, just chocolate, 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 chocolate. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. All right. I, literally, figuratively, all of it. All right. <laughs> what genres of video game do you think that Balthazar and Damon would enjoy? Edward, what do you think? Genres of video game. Oh. Like oh, RPGs, first-person shooters. I think Damon actually would probably enjoy some of the um, metaverse uh, online stuff uh, just oh, yeah. to see how really weird humans are 
<laughs> and and maybe even Minecraft because it's relaxing. <laughs> or The Sims for him. The he Sims. has to go in. I think actually Balthazar is more of a Sims guy, um, oh, but he right. may not. I suspect Balthazar wouldn't play games the way they were meant to be played. No, of course not. I think he'd be one of those people that would go in and, you know, build his Sims house and get them into the pool and then remove the pool stairs and try to (laughs) crossbreed things and just generally mess with things because it's fun. Or actually, I think that Balthazar might secretly be into those Candy Crush style uh, mobile games. (laughs) Oh, God, yes. He would like secretly be doing it. Yes. There may be one that's about uh, collecting different outfits. Uh, your oh, character yes. has to go on little side quests and missions to get new shoes and dresses for a ball <laughs> to seduce the the prince. And I suspect uh, there may be a little element of that. Sweet. All right. Excellent. So, Adam, in your opinion, it's uh, like in your opinion, what is Damon's best attribute? So I guess it's asking you mm. as a as a person here. This is going to sound like an Edward answer, but his flexibility. I don't mean that physically. I think that, I think actually, Damon... You're all uh, perverts. I I literally have, (laughs) I literally have a container of cashews here. Look, I'm going to shake them. I I, 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 you do. Good. I'm not even lying. I love them. Yes. Sure you are. Sure. (laughs) Oh, oh, back at you. I've been eating those when I mute my mic. Um, Yeah. So Uh, I think that Damon actually... We don't want to hear anyone with a mouthful of... I'm not going to (laughs) say... (laughs) <laughs> he, given the situation he's in, given how much the world has changed, um, he actually, I think, proves quite adaptable to this new situation. Um, he's fascinated by new technologies and things. But, but over more than anything else, he is much more powerful than he lets on. So I find his ability to withhold that power when he needs to, um, sometimes in like a manipulative way, but you know, he knows how to get what he wants and it isn't always just demonstrating his incredible power to everybody at all times, if that makes sense. So I actually think his ability to show restraint, given that he doesn't have to, he could just lash out and, and you know, achieve the ends that he desires. Uh, but instead, he he manages to show this kind of, uh, yeah, restraint and flexibility. I think those are the, those are his I best attributes. I like that answer. That's actually an excellent, excellent uh, description of him, his strength and you know, his, yeah, his restraint and flexibility. Yeah, no, I'm going to be boring and mention his. He listens. Yeah, he actually listens and mm. considers some people's opinions right before he right. takes action, and I think that's a really, really great trait in any person, especially one with power, to consider others' points of view before taking action. Well, he's so not threatened, you know, so that means he's truly powerful, obviously. Right. Anyone who is truly not threatened, that's how he can actually listen to others. I think that does play a role. Um, so there's an acting student on the chat. Do you guys have any advice for improving pitch and resonance? Silence. Silence. <laughs> uh, look, I think that... Um... Wherever you are, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's asking this. Do, do we have a name? Yeah, the... um, Silver Cosplay. So hold Silver on a second, Cosplay. Please. If you want to do something like that, wherever you're living, um, I would recommend finding a, a, a an acting school with a good reputation where you can take some classes that are just about uh, voice um, and movement as well. The two are really connected. So that would be my recommendation. Go and take a class if you can't afford a class or there isn't really a good school near you. Join a community theater and get some tips from um, from some older actors. Find a mentor and uh, and start work that way. Oh, great. All right. Uh, look, I'm going to try to find that link so that I can actually like highlight it. But um, in the meantime, Adam, do you see up on the screen? It says, Adam, can you say this? Christian and Julian? <laughs> I mean, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you have to yeah. switch between them here. I, I can give it a go. You are such an idiot. But I'm your idiot. Yeah, you are. You did it perfect. You did oh, it perfect. You switched between Yeah, it was really oh. cute. It was adorable. 
<laughs> I don't know if people really know we've mentioned cute. it before, but I actually have the convenience of using two different microphones for these characters <laughs> that help oh me gosh. sound different. He is he is on like uh you have a a 103 uh at your studio, right, Adam? Correct. Yes. Yeah, so I'm he's, on the he's Julian mic on, right now. Yeah. He's on his Julian mic right now. He's on his Julian mic. Yeah, and, and for those who are interested, <laughs> different types of microphones will really change your sound. So a lavalier mic or a small lapel mic sounds very different than a shotgun, which is one of those pointy ones that they point at you, uh, versus a cardioid microphone uh, or super or hypercardioid. Um, all, they all do different, different things to you and work in different ways. So if you want to do your ASMR, I'm going to take my pop filter off. So you can probably hear me breathing. Oh, yes. Right now. Oh, so oh not, op not optimal if we're laughing no. and uh, other things. Oh. Yes, I had to the get Julian on his case works. today about that. You did. The but Julian please learn good perfectly mic. for trust manufacturing tutorial videos. Trust me, <laughs> they love it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like a good point where someone says, Adam, I'm guessing you enjoy the sexy audiobooks over the commercial jobs. Not necessarily, my friends. Not necessarily. I know. I definitely do. As far as entertainment, my God, do I. <laughs> I tend to book a lot more of the commercial jobs, but I uh, the sexy audiobooks um, definitely keep me more awake. Oh, that's oh yeah, yeah. There would be that. So another question for it's you: It's always you more fun be... to play a, play a character. Yeah. Oh gosh! Yes. I just like it when I'm I just like it when I'm voicing a character, reading an audiobook, and I actually want to find out what happens next. Oh. It's a a really nice feeling when I haven't read ahead to go. Oh no! I want. I'm going to keep reading for another couple of hours to find out what happens. The problem becomes when you become more interested in the story than in voicing the story. <laughs> and it, it kind of turns into. Oh, oh my God! I like cinders and ashes. I, I had a few moments of that in it when I was reading it and going, "Oh, I like that." Let's see the next bit. I know. You know, it was so hard to end it at the sixth book. It really should have been a seventh. I'm so aggravated, but I've made a determination about how I'm doing stuff going forward for those. I'm just, I'm going to write it on the site and then I'm going to chop it up so that I won't have that situation that we've had where I'm like, here guys, it's like five months late. Enjoy, read it. And I know you, you're working on Cinder's Nash's six. So, um, all right. Uh, we should just do a few more so we don't want to keep everyone forever. Okay, this is a question. Would your characters like squishmallows? I find it funny thinking about Damon cuddling one. I just learned what these are. <laughs> all of my all of my nieces asked for squishmallows for Christmas. <laughs> I have no idea what they are. So they're just big, big. They're uh... enormous stuffed animals that are like filled with almost like um, like a very squishy foam. Oh, all right. But they're huge. And uh, yeah, right. Damon cuddling one would be hilarious. Julian would, Christian wouldn't, is the short answer. All right, yes, I could totally see this. Okay. Does the mirror power include the power to understand or take on the person's language? Yes. You are able to completely be that other person, which is, I'm putting uh, Edward's thing up there, but um, yes, it does. It's, it's quite a powerful gift in many ways. Um, let's see here. Hold on. For the cast, what anime do you think the characters, you're, the characters you would voice would watch? Oh, good Lord. Do you guys watch uh, anime to know to be able to do it? I know you voice anime, some of you. Uh, Arceus would watch uh dragon ball z in particular probably <laughs> the uh the freezer arc and yes. just see goku going crazy and just that's cathartic for him i think i like it i definitely I like play it. probably the most anime character in this sophia and i don't watch yes. a lot like i don't I, i've seen anime like i see it and i sometimes do <laughs> do it uh like do voices for it but i haven't really like been hooked on any series do you guys have any recommendations for good series that i could watch that i would get really into i can i can give you a, a big old list but the people in the chat would probably be best to uh yes give that's you some recommendations. Who, i it wasn't really, asking really you jay 
<laughs> well, oh here's the God. thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've got opinions, all right? I've got opinions on these things. And this is when I turn into William, okay? This is when I turn into William. Okay? Um, oh, yes, William. But oh, anime is... William anime's, has a massive anime collection. Yes. I Matt, anime God, yes. personally oh, yeah, sure. um, and animation personally just because of the sheer scope of the things you could do with it. Um, and i got to say, anytime I we do the voices forever dark my brain does filter across to uh this would be a really good animated show in all honesty um <laughs> i love you from your <laughs> lips to somebody with a lot of money's ears uh, but yes uh, yes give us some uh some anime um uh thoughts in the in the chat because i will steal them also you never have excellent. too many suggestions what I would laugh is that Sophia will claim to have never seen an anime in her entire life. Sophia's strange, like, what, what do you mean? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really, Sophia? No, no, not a, not a clue there. Yeah, what do you mean, anime? What's that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly with the big anime what googly eyes. What are you even talking about, silly? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> um, Okay, everyone, have you ever taken singing classes to help your voice acting? Do any of you sing? I think you do. Yes, I mean, I, it's a, I, it's I, a I, good... Yeah. Uh, 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 you go ahead, please, Anna. I've, I've, I've said enough. Oh, they want to hear from you, not me. The fans want to hear from you. Hello? We want to hear from both of you. All right. Did we lose Don't us? do this to us, Edward. Don't do this to us, Edward. He's, he's no, gone. You know what? I'm just leaving. <laughs> Come on, right um, yeah, he's gone. He's well, literally gone. I'm not. Is no, you're gone? not. <laughs> oh. Just oh, here listening some great to great anime. Uh, great anime choices. Yeah, some good choices in there. Yeah, really I'm looking choices. at. I am. I'm reading yeah. all the choices. I'm sorry. Let's go back to the question. What was the question? Singing. Singing. Yes. Um, uh, singing lessons yes, to help done... with your voice acting. I... Yeah, go for it. I've done uh, musicals before. I've taken singing lessons. I'm not, um, I wouldn't, you, I'm an actor who can carry a tune, not a singer who can act. There's a very distinct difference between the two. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had, I, I would definitely say singers um, actually have a, a, like a much easier time with uh, voiceover work because they've got really good ear already for their own voice. Um, and they have a lot of range. So they're really flexible. Mm. That would make that does make sense to me. I think it's a, yeah. a very good skill to learn for if you do want to go into voice acting, or just for any any anyone to learn to learn how to sing. Not you don't have to do it well, but for me, some of the skills that cross over are things like breath control and breath support. Sometimes you get some authors, Wraith, who write yeah. incredibly long run-on <laughs> sentences that never right. end, and they just keep really? going and going and really, going. Really, Edward? Is, is that a what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, sentences I know, I know. You crisp. don't. You don't. I'm yeah, talking about other, other people. Uh, and so having the ability <laughs> to, to take a, a breath without gasping into the microphone to keep that support, to keep those long sentences going in a way that makes sense without having to go, <gasps> oh God. Oh, do I have to keep going? But even things like uh, shaping sounds uh, for dialect work, sometimes accents are because the physical shape of the sound is different. So with singing, sometimes you have to change how you shape vowels when you're sustaining notes. Mm. I think it's, and it's a lot of fun because for me, some styles, especially, I like to think that I'm sort of singing the character's song, that old bardic tradition, rather than just speaking, especially when it comes to uh, classical text, uh, Greek stuff, Roman stuff, uh, Shakespearean English, or even some fantasy things. I like to find a sort of lilt or prosody in a character's voice. So like some languages from, for me, or some sounds like the Welsh, the Irish, they have a, a music, the Spanish, um, even some dialects of Japanese and other things. There's, and I love that. So I think singing, great skill, should definitely train it. Excellent. Hold on. Question. Okay, just responding to somebody. Um, so we have another, um, Edward, what is Julian's best attribute in your opinion, if you were to do it from yours rather than Damon's? Did I lose people? Is there, a, maybe there's a lag. There might be, I'm back now. What is the question? Okay. Oh, um, what is Julian's best attribute in your opinion? <laughs> oh. 
His cute little laugh. Yes. Dimples. Yes. You know, just on his back, just above his, just on the spine there. You know, the, and uh, no, um, personality. <laughs> definitely personality. <laughs> I personality. think his. I think his courage, his courage yeah. and his loyalty, his willingness to stand beside his friend and not abandon him in the face of overwhelming, deadly fear and danger. So it, it may be it may be stubborn and it may put him in danger, but I think constantly for Damon. Uh, and what I enjoy is his willingness to, with a, a rakish smile, to face danger. I find that very inspiring for someone who can do that. Very nice. Yeah, no, he definitely, I wish, I wish um, that we had, uh, you know, more of that in myself. I, I definitely wish I had that. Because he's like, you know, th this athletic James Kirk type, just like looks before he leaps and everything like that. So Vanessa... When can we expect your character to appear in the podcast? Do you remember what um, episode you were in? I don't know. If oh my do. god, it's it's up in the nineties or the hundred. Not soon enough. That's my answer. Not soon enough. <laughs> exactly. Um, Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. But I think, uh, yeah, I think it was around late nineties, early one hundreds, somewhere in there. God. Yeah, I think it was I think it was uh nine I wanna say like ninety eight to one twelve you're in. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's hard to believe. It's really hard to believe that that's like when I think about where we're at right now on the on the at least the public one and both of them. And when we started this, it's like good God. There are so many, by the way, um so many suggestions for anime in here, which is just yes, fantastic. I'm taking notes. Yeah, so this is a good. Uh, the romance may be a big part of Everdark, but ride or die friendship between Julian and Christian takes the number one thing in my in in the story. So that's awesome, then. Jody, yeah. you missed you missed a, a lot. A vampire story. I love that comment, Lucas. That's fantastic. Ride or die. Love it. Yes. Yes. It's not all recorded then. It's not yet all recorded. No, it's not all recorded. My God. Um, we still have a little bit to go. Uh, so that would be, that would be true. Okay. Edward, question. Um, you voiced Algar on the Halloween stream. Did you have fun voicing that little snippet? It, Edward, do you voice Algar coming up? I do. Excellent. Excellent. I do. I hope, I hope I'm not being recast, but I, I know Jay may have been pushing for that. I think he wanted the role, but uh, no, I do voice Elgar and I really enjoy him uh, as a character. I think that there's, I, I, I'm going to say, I find him a little bit Hamlet, but not. Um, I think it's such a wonderfully rich character. I can't give spoilers, Wraith. Damn your eyes. But yes, I do voice Elgar, and I did very much enjoy him in that little Halloween stream. And I hope you're all looking forward to seeing more of the fantastic You voice Elgar for now. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a terrible thing if something happened to your voice, wouldn't it? Terrible, terrible things. It's like, yeah, I can see it's like a, a Nancy. Oh, 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 God. He's going to take you out in the... Uh, on the ice rink. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's racist. No, that's not. <laughs> Canadians aren't a race. Um, I thought you were going to say Nancy Drew and the mystery of the moist towelette. Like, oh, <laughs> no. No. Um, you know this question, Z Gutierrez? Um, it's, we'll just leave it there. And those of you who know, know. Those of you who know, know. Um, okay. Like there's just a few more and then I will, um, Adam had to go. So, um, he, we had both, um, Bruno and Adam had to go. So now we're, we're, it's like, um, and then there were none. Lily, so, asked, Lily asked a good question. Yes. Do I like Kamon's character? <laughs> yes. And I'm jealous. I don't get to do Kamon, but I can't do all Ooh. the things. I really enjoy Kamon as a character. I think for those of you who's read ahead, you know why? I find him a very interesting counterpoint to Balthazar. Uh, almost at the... No, I can't do spoilers. Damn your eyes! Damn your <laughs> eyes! <laughs> but it is, and they're, they're even more fascinating together in Everdark Academy. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. Absolutely. I really... If I, was, if I was doing a film version, I don't know. I mean, the look may not be right, but someone like Alan Rickman would be fantastic for Kamon. 
Yes. No, that's very, very true. With an eight pack. Yes. And hot. A uh, hottie. Yeah. Hottie. I, I still think of him in um, Die Hard. Oh, that yes. Just, he's the perfect villain. He was so good. Do you know that was his first film role? No. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Hans Gruber. Hans, Hans Gruber. Gruber. Now no. I have a machine gun. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> so oh, good. Oh. <laughs> his accent, though, went all over the freaking oh, yeah. place. Yes. <laughs> he went on tour as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What's what's going on now?" Um, it's a nice suit, Mister Takagi. Yeah. Be to it. Oh God! So if Gat, I could, Mister Potter next, yeah. Mister Potter next. Mr. So if Potter. Oh Obviously. my God. Obviously. Well, so people are asking if I could cast you guys in Dragon's Reign, who would voice who? And it's really funny because before all Everdark happened, um, I actually asked Edward to do Valerius and a bunch of other characters do some advertising for them so it i mean obviously edward would do valerius and i think adam would definitely do caden and i i think um jay i could totally see doing tez just a bunch of them because they're all the dragons all over um vanessa i totally can see doing quite frankly um either as no hannah's esme but um Oh, God, there's a bunch of them that they just like definitely Vanessa doing May, maybe. Anyway, they'd all be perfect at it, to be honest with you. It, it just sort of like when I do my own little thing. So it's like, oh, um, again, will we be doing more of these because I enjoy the cast? Absolutely. Us and moist towelettes. I will be sending those out to people. So that will be really good. And nuts and everything else. <laughs> Um, I will eagerly await it in the post. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Ooh, it's what coming. did we get for Christmas, darling? <laughs> Ooh, a bag of moist towelettes. <laughs> Dream gifts. Dream gifts. Oh, God. Um, did you guys, this is sort of funny, although you, they're asking if you know funny stories about one another. Did you know one another really before ever? I know some of you did. I I obviously knew Edward because we were already working on um, Cinders and Ashes and a bunch of other audiobooks. And I knew um, Vanessa. I've known Vanessa for years and years and years. She and I have done a number of shows together. And I think, yeah, Edward, Vanessa, and I actually did a show together. Um, oh, all not right. all that. I want to say not oh, that's that long true. Ago, but I think it's probably been about 10 years now. <laughs> um, I've nearly recovered. A decade ago. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was a little coward play called uh, Present Laughter. Um, yeah, and we had we had a good time together on that. The set was never finished, but we we, we made it through the acting. We, we knew our lines, so it was fine. Um, I didn't know Jay, but Edward. Uh, was Edward and I, suggested. yeah, we were in yeah we were in a fight club together, and then we also were uh, two halves of a pantomime horse together. We didn't realize. Don't we knew talk each other, about um, fight until... club. <laughs> <laughs> um and adam and uh bruno i had seen in plays before um vanessa had worked with both of them before um and we have a lot of sort of actor friends in common so i was able to contact them and they came in to audition and now i feel like i've known them forever they got the jobs through talent and skill as opposed to nepotism. <laughs> <laughs> right, right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's funny because even though they they did all uh, pretty much audition to a certain extent, um, it's it's funny because I was like, oh, well, I'll just assume that these are going to sound like the, you know, they'll, they'll sound like the characters to me eventually. And yet when they were doing them, they automatically did. And I, I swear to God, it's like who, you know, when you did the audition and when you did the real thing, mm -hmm. it was like, so much better in the real thing, which is so funny. I, I mean, obviously, it always, is. It always, it always is. is. Auditions are never anybody's me. best work. <laughs> it's not. It's no. so not. Never. never. Um, Edward, everyone's dying for you to do a Russian accent because they're all thinking <laughs> of Alarian, who is the Green Dragon King. So they, could you do a Russian accent? I can. Are you able to? Excellent. I can. I'm not going to. Um, oh! real, 
<laughs> we'll have to we'll have to have them wait then to see what what might be coming out in the future. And yes. if you do want to hear me do a dirty Eastern European accent, no, so again going on a tour <laughs> of Eastern Europe, uh, Ever Dark, there may be a character in that who I have great fun uh, <laughs> doing a very eh, non-regional specific dialect. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So some of them in the chat are willing to be proud owners of Moist Towelette merch. It's going to happen. It's totally going to happen. Well, I think it remember, kind of has to at this point. Yeah. Remember Hitchhiker's Guide to the I Galaxy? Wasn't it? A towel was considered the most useful yes. item to have with you at all times. Well, a moist towelette also. <laughs> it's true. Oh, For those God. times when you need a little freshening. Look, oh, I yes. cannot tell you how many times I've gone into a public bathroom stall. There's no toilet paper, but in my purse, I keep moist, moist towelettes. I'm just saying, oh thank my goodness God. they're there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely. In this day and age, the, the nasty people walking around, you just, just give yourself a quick wipe. <laughs> All right, so we have a Russian in the chat, and they're like, "My Russian." Yeah, I was going to say Victoria. Yes, yes, excellent. All right, um, here we'll I'll have this. Hold on, so we're just going to go. Um, by the way, the, um, I think this is true. The designer is going to be so confused at our request for moist towel at merch. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God. <laughs> It's a vampire Jesus. thing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> wouldn't, she wouldn't understand. He wouldn't understand the joy that this is. I like is. the scented ones. Does anyone else remember the KFC scented? Oh, oh my God. So I lovely. was just thinking about that. Oh, That's, oh yeah. Oh, they yes. have that now strange that fragrant oh. smell. Yeah. 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 And the pucker is just thinking about it now. Right? I, always, <laughs> I did want, I may have, may have, or may have not have eaten one or tried one. <laughs> that would explain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it does. <laughs> okay. But seriously, though, I will eventually demonstrate. I'm feeling shy today. Unless if everybody else does a Russian accent first, we'll have oh, a Russian off, and no. we can have a judge it from the. No, no, Just you no. only want to do that because you know you're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If if you're playing fair, you're not really playing to win. Uh -huh. If I can do an old uh -huh. lady Eastern European accent. You can. You can do an old lady I'm Eastern in. European accent. Oh, I can because oh my, my God, grandmother. Yes. I do my grandmother sell <laughs> that a roommate at one point thought it was me calling the house. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> teasing her as my, as my grandmother. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's go. Old, <laughs> old Eastern it. European <laughs> lady accents. voice yes. off. Here we go. Uh, Hannah, you're up first. Set the sure. standard. Uh, let's see. Um, Have we got oh, some suggestions of lines Runya. from the audience? Oh, oh, la Runya. The third person is always the fifth wheel. <laughs> Literally. All right. She always said shit like that too. Like it was always the third person is the she is was always always the fifth wheel or like not my circus, not my monkeys. Like she would just these weird things. Like <laughs> she just said that oh all my time. god. Okay, now That's you need to line. say not my circus, not my monkeys. That's your line. In, in, not your line, Vanessa. Not my circus, you... not my monkeys. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Okay, not Vanessa, my... you have to do it next. <laughs> Not my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. moist towelette in Russian. I don't know. Is which there a line is. from <laughs> Is there a line from Dragon's Reign, Wraith, that uh, you'd me, like to hear in this accent? Let me just try to find one. <laughs> Hold on a second here, while you guys are all, you know, more than amusing yourselves with this. Okay, let me find. Yes, one. it is a little self-indulgent. <laughs> That's why we all need moist towelettes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Kayla oh, wants to. Jay wants to hear you do a Russian accent also. But yeah, again, which part Jay, of Russia are we turn. talking about? Oh, there's so many. That's there's right. So many vast landmass. Yes, 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 yes. Like, I suppose it's more like a Muscovite probably would be more known than. Um, I don't have a great line for this though. This is very sad. Very. All right, <laughs> Victoria. This, this might have to be a different time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Best Russian accent is ever. John Melkovich in Rounders. Oh. oh my god, that was <laughs> terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh I think I think there was a video of um Matt Damon talking about just 
Malkovich doing that and Malkovich uh, and uh, Matt Damon must have just had the weirdest look on his face after hearing that accent. Malkovich apparently just said, I'm the worst actor. <laughs> oh. oh, that's so sad. That is so sad. Oh, okay. Hold on a second here. Maybe moist towelette in a Russian accent, Jake. Moist towelette, because I can't find anything good. <laughs> From uh, Dragon's <laughs> Ring right now. Uh, this is sad. Um, moist toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The the the. Like you all like sound like Russian toilet. mobsters. Like uh, <laughs> like Eastern promises. You're Russian naughty, mobsters. Naughty naughty people. Naughty, oh, Eastern naughty. promises is so good. Oh. It's a great film. Vigo. Great film. Anybody who oh yeah anybody who's interested in. I don't know, Russian gang movies should definitely watch Eastern Promises. It's brilliant. King Julian from Madagascar. <laughs> uh, I don't know whenever I think is. of King Julian from Madagascar, I just think of Sasha Baron Cohen doing the, um, what is it? Physically fit, physically fit, physically, physically, physically fit. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Um, Edward, you're the last one. Although for that did you do one? You didn't do one. She's being very quiet. Have you noticed that? She's being clever. Me what? My Russian <laughs> voice toilet. The Russian in, accent. Uh... Moist toilet. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's cool. I love it. Thank oh you. God. I would like a moist toilet. <laughs> All right. What what are we doing here? We are doing some Russian accent for something like a hey, the moist. Moist toilet. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah, I can is, see that it's hilarious. One of the things you have to ask again is, this is not a Russian accent. It is a bad interpretation of, for audiences, what kind of person? Educated, smart, sexy. Or do you want to be <laughs> like young, dirty kind of, hey, the Russian. Oh, with yeah. the, I want to bring me more things to do things with, you know, you know, like this dirty kind of sound, right? It depends on the character. I think because... Peter Stormare talks about how he just gets cast as generic European yeah. um, bad guy yeah. his whole <laughs> life. Because he just does that accent in various iterations. And yeah, you'll see him in many things as a. Because um, you, you can. I, I like European having guy. fun. What, what's, the name, what's the name of the character in, in Cinders and Ashes? The, uh, the barbarian king who, again, no spoilers. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I had oh, much yes, fun yes, yes. giving him size. Oh, so he's a big man, you know. He is, and the he is very perfect. I, will, I can't believe I will it. break you, you know. So it's so yes, <laughs> yes, he is. He is like this big grim. He was yeah. going to be the the actual villain, but he is not. He ended up not being it. He no, was too nice. It was too fun. I mean, he was the, too fun. Villains are the best. Villains are the best. So you know, sitting around and I and I got to do a bit of that graveling voice there, <laughs> but have fun with. <laughs> the sound in the front of the mouth and to uh, lean in and do this it's very much fun don't let's it's sort of a dracula thing going in there too absolutely now. because that's the that that eastern european sort of fun thing of not not offending one nation too much <laughs> just sort of <laughs> go on a tour go on a oh, tour oh god so we have approval by the, the one at least the one russian in the chat has identified themselves as such so now we're okay <laughs> we've done it yeah. oh. We pass. Jesus. That's yeah. so excellent. Excellent. Oh, well, You're... this has been so much fun, you guys. Spesima. Perfect. Perfect. So we are going to do definitely another one the next couple of months, <laughs> I think. And then we'll actually have a plan. Although, I don't know. This this end up being pretty darn good, um, even without a plan. And we have good. lost 10 people in the last little while. So. I know. They're like, I think we're all done. <laughs> we're done. We're done. It was the We're offensive done. accents, I think. <laughs> they were like, never mind this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So thank you very much for having me. Um, love to everyone. I will see you back in the studio for more Everdark and other actions. Uh, to, to Wraith, to Kat, thank you very much. Uh, to the fans, thank you so much for being here and doing all this amazing stuff. Uh, write into us. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you want more of. If you enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you didn't, keep your mouth shut. Um, there we go. <laughs> so lots of love to all from me. And I'll shut up now. Moist. Yeah, if you guys have any questions. <laughs> Moist. If you guys have any questions at all or want to send us a message, feel free to email us our website, Her Grace Reads. 
Um, we'd be happy to answer any uh, any questions. Yeah. So oh, thanks oh, for having oh, us. Oh. We really appreciate this. I want to mm -hmm. say I, I boasted about the fan fix and artwork from the fans uh, from the last live stream that we did. So thank you all very much for that. I love being part of that. It's a really, it, it really makes me very happy to be part of all this. So thank you so much. <laughs> the one time I try to be honest and try to be nice. I, get <laughs> that's my, oh, oh. I was laughing at moist. I'm, I'm so surrounded <laughs> by idiots. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Oh Have a great night, you guys. Enjoy your days or your evenings. And we'll hopefully uh, so talk to you soon. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.